Yeah, I think we're good there. You're good. We're good? Yeah. All right. Welcome to Rocket Sports Cards, greatest sports card show on earth. XL edition uh, in uh, honor of WrestleMania ending this weekend. Uh, we were at WrestleMania, so uh, we're, we're doing an extra large XL size show this week. Uh, it is on Tuesday. Sorry about that, guys. We were driving home from Philadelphia. It was a little bit of a trek. So... <coughs> Sorry. So anyways, uh, my brother was begging me the entire way home if he can come on the show. And I'm like, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, but uh, that's not entirely we, true. as you know, we, we came up with the idea to have the contest where if we found a card shop in, in uh, Pennsylvania or on, on our route, uh, we would buy maximum of 10, call, sorry, 10 cards uh, for a total value of $100. Uh, so we, we were able to actually find a card show. We were staying in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And what happened was, is we went to a small card shop there. It wasn't even really a card shop, but, uh, It was like a sports complex with batting cages. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like... soccer field. They just had a little display with like, like six boxes of cards. Is it okay if I talk on my yeah, show? sorry, go ahead. Yeah. If I do the cold open, if I do the intro? Yeah. Is that cool? Ahead. You're the final boss, so... <laughs> that is correct. Anyways, uh... We got no comments yet. Like, what's going on here? I don't know. People are on. Hi, Anyways, everybody. so we're we're in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We find this little shop, and the guy says, "Hey, uh, this is Saturday. We're we're just about ready to go to Philadelphia for the first night of WrestleMania." He says, "Hey, you guys should come by tomorrow. Uh, we've got a sports card show here with like a hundred tables." And we're like, "All right, let's do it then." So we uh, we ended up going down there about eleven o'clock. Had lunch there. Did some shop. Stayed till four o'clock. Stayed way too late. Uh, the show the show ended at three. We were still buying stuff. Uh, you know, at four o'clock, people were we were holding up everybody going home. But we were one of the last. We were, last yeah, we were one of the last people yeah. there buying stuff. But, anyways, uh, I literally bought a more than a sixteen hundred count box full of cards because we had to put some in in uh, where did we put them? Some box, in your box. Some, yeah, some we we had a, I got a lot of cards, so I got a lot of cards. A lot of cards that. Uh, uh, the world didn't. It's early. It's early yet. We haven't seen the effects of it yet. There could be the uh, the earthquakes coming soon. Mike's pretty sure the world's starting to come to an end. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's we'll, gonna end, fellas. We're still here for now. So let's yeah, yeah. So so time. we're gonna sell some cards. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, anyways, so uh, we're coming on a little bit early tonight to let everybody come on. Tonight is gonna be a very large show. One hundred cards. Actually, maybe more than a hundred cards if we can get them in. Uh, so we did do the uh, the ten cards each. We hope you like the guy, stuff we picked for you guys. Like, obviously, Mike knows his clientele a lot better, but I picked what I thought they might like because of the error. Go ahead. Why don't you just jump in when you feel like <laughs> well, it? Well, I figured you asked me on because that's what you wanted. Like, I do have to put a discretionary notice out there. I did. I did talk to my parents this morning, and my dad came up to me and says, "Hey, you do us a favor and cut back on the swearing." And I said, "Look, we, man, we've made promises." So, and and I said, he goes, "It's going to reflect poorly upon us." And I just, I just want everybody to know that everything we've ever learned was from them on the swearing end of That's things. That's probably true, yeah. So, 99.9% they are 100% responsible for my mouth. But we'll try to behave. I'll try to behave, because I don't, I, I don't want the backlash. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there that uh, they asked if we could, uh, it, and it's not because of me, it's because of us. So, uh, I can handle my, but he gets on, he's going to go crazy, so. Well, uh, it is WrestleMania. Folks. It is WrestleMania weekend. So if anybody has any questions about WrestleMania, we're here to answer them. If anybody has any questions about Philadelphia that we can answer, we'll answer those as well. Uh, as far as as far as the trip, the the drive wasn't actually that bad. We spent most yeah. of it in the mountains, uh, driving through uh, New York and Pennsylvania. A little bit of snow. It was we had a little bit of snow on the way there, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, we froze our asses off at WrestleMania the Cold first night. WrestleMania in history. Fifty yeah. degrees. Uh, Forty eight. Uh, cheese steaks. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you this right now. It was now. disappointing. So we did have we, the cheesecake at the arena was okay. Yeah. Or well, cheese steak. I keep calling them cheesecake. Yeah. The cheese steak at the arena was the best one that we had while we were there. The one at the stadium was awful. And I want to tell you something. We tried to, we were downtown Philadelphia for the, we went to WWE world. Uh, we were downtown Philadelphia. You could not get anywhere in that city. The traffic was atrocious. Uh, there was no parking anywhere. It's a we literally nightmare. 
Yeah. So so the problem is Philadelphia was was uh, erected in like the the seventeen eighteen hundreds. Okay, it's a very old city. So when they when they built the city, they had horse and buggy. So all these all these small buildings that used to make up they're now businesses and bars and uh, places of residence. So they're all small brick buildings and old colonial style buildings, and there's literally enough room for one car to go down a street. Or two horse and buggies. Or two horse and buggies. Okay. Yeah, that... So the entire city downtown layout is like that. It's all one way streets. So there's no parking anywhere. Uh, it, it, it's a massive city. Uh, it's a beautiful city from what we've seen of it. Uh, uh, it's amazing. Stunning. Really. And, and if you're going to ask, did you go to the Rocky statue? Did you run up the steps? If we wanted to wait a couple hours to get a picture. That's that's what the lineup was like. And that's I think that's strictly because WrestleMania was Because of Rus- if you went on a regular weekend, it might be mm-hmm. like 20% of that probably. Yeah, there was a they lot literally had there. police escorts or police control over everything. So like you, you go to the Rocky statue, there's like 400 people in line. And the police are like waving people through to get their picture. Five seconds, get the hell out of there. If you want to run up the steps, there was people watching that. Like you... It wasn't a free for all. Like you couldn't just do whatever the hell you wanted to. Uh, the entire the entire weekend was like that. Really, it the, was very very busy. The drive in and out of Philadelphia, fine. Uh, within about two three miles. Uh, within with within about two three miles, you start to get backed up on the highway. People exiting for the stadium. Uh, they did have seventy three thousand there both nights. Uh, parking parking was fine. So that's my one beef. So we went to I went to SummerSlam last year in downtown Detroit and parking was literally like eighty to a hundred dollars US to to park in some shitty lot within five minutes walk of, of uh, uh, Ford Field. We drove up to Lincoln Financial, which so the nice thing is all three stadiums are combined. You have where the Phillies play, don't know where it's called, don't care. Uh, Wells Fargo, where the Flyers play, and then behind it you have Lincoln Financial, where the Eagles play. Yeah, it's so all the sports complexes are in one spot, right on the harbor. So you park; they have enough parking to cover to probably, yeah. probably at least two of the. What is going on? At least two of those events at once. So they they have overflow. They everything's good. Thirty hundred thousand, maybe they could park there. Yeah, thirty five dollars for parking each day. Totally reasonable. That was the only thing that was cheap. It was actually, it was cheaper to park than it was to buy a hamburger combo. Yeah, that's It was accurate. $41 to buy a hamburger, a pop, and it came with a commemorative cup. Yeah, that, that was a that was a great deal, $15 American for a pop. $15 for, for a, a, a regular soda. No, we're not complaining, but it's, it was... It is what it is. Yeah, it was quite expensive, but uh, it's once in a lifetime. It was absolutely amazing. So it. how was the Jey Uso entrance live? I'm sure TV did no justice. So I want to tell you something. The crowd was flat. So I think it's fatigue. There's just too much. Like we got there on Friday, drove all day, got there Friday. Uh, we're doing SmackDown. We're doing the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame doesn't end till like 1 in the morning. I'm still exhausted. I'm uh, sure you still are. Too. 1 in the morning for the Hall of Fame. We've got an hour drive to get back to uh, Allentown to stay. I think we pulled in about... 3 a.m. And then we got WrestleMania Saturday. We go downtown. Uh, the WWE uh, world is Tons. is a complete shit show with Tons people. Of walking, like the size of an airplane hangar and just wrestling stuff everywhere. It's, it's <laughs> absolutely Excuse amazing. Uh, massive, massive convention center. Yeah. But had to park, what, a good 15-minute walk away? Uh, about 10 minutes, yeah. 10 good, min- good minute, 10 minute 10 walk. 10-minute back, 15 on the way there because we had no idea where the hell it was. That was the bummer, yeah. The literally no no signage like walk this way or anything like that. To, total cluster f on the uh, uh, on the uh, WWE's part as to how to get to any of this stuff. Uh, they could have done better with that. Yeah, it was mismanaged. But, but in spite of all that, still uh, would do it a million times over. It was, yes, it was amazing. So I'm already planning on going to WrestleMania 41 next year. Uh, it's probably look. It's looking like it's either going to be in Las Vegas or. Uh, Minnesota, so I'm I'm probably gonna make the trek again. I'm gonna fly to Vegas, obviously, but if it's if it's in Mini, I'm probably gonna drive. So, uh, tickets. If you're wondering how much tickets cost, uh, for night one we paid 350 US to sit in the lower bowl. We were seven rows off the field. Uh, pretty good seats. However, uh, we had a little bit of a blind spot because of the pillars for the uh, 
uh, for the tenting on top on top of the uh, uh, on top of the ring. Stage, yeah, the ring, yep. A little bit of a blind spot there, but that's okay. Uh, second night we paid 400 US for the exact same section, but row 20. Turned out there were actually better seats because we moved up. We avoided that, obstruction. and we could see yeah. pretty much everything in the ring. We never did have a really clear uh, view of the stage, unfortunately. Uh, we kind of uh, we because of uh, the TV and all that on the on the uh, on the hard camera side. There was a lot of tents. Uh, there's a there's a lot of production production stage there, so we kind of had. Uh, the first night we had a decent view of the stage. The yeah. second night we couldn't see the entrance right. play. And I'm very much forward looking to the TV, looking forward to the TV broadcast. Yeah, we want to see what it looks like on TV because it, it was phenomenal in person. Like when uh, the coolest, I I will tell you the coolest parts of night one for me. Uh, night one for me was the rocks entrance, uh, where where it's like loading the final boss. I thought that was I thought what they did with the. The lightning and all, and the lighting and all that, and and the the sound obviously. And I dig his new music. I'm not a huge rock fan, but the remix of his new song, where it's like the original Rocky song, and then it drops down into that low bass. Listen, that is a badass tune. I'm not a rock fan either, but for a guy of his age to be able to perform in main event at WrestleMania and uh, still be in the kind of shape that he is, it's it's it speaks volumes. Like I'm not was never a huge rock fan either, but you have to give him, you know, his respect, and because he is still a, a headliner, really. Like he headlined WrestleMania. Yeah. So. Uh, night one, night one was, was like an appetizer. Like night one felt like a little bit of a disappointment as far as like, there was very little pyro. Uh, there was very little, uh, celebrity interaction. There was very little on the, uh, entertainment side of things like with live bands. I know Rhea had a live band. Uh, that was about it. I think for, for night one and then night two starts and it's literally like night one with, they stole Rock's juice and pumped like, it in. On steroids. On steroids. That's what I'm saying. Rock's juice. Yeah. And they shot it in the ass of the entertainment side of things. Uh, the only disappointment to me, and, and you and you people out there, yeah, I'll call you people, uh, you probably thought that it was good. Uh, it could have been better. All, all the uh, the cluster Fs of what was going on in the main event. The the the, the thing that they, they kind of dropped the ball on and they're trying to save face for Stone Cold right now by saying he had travel issues he couldn't get there because Undertaker did take Stone Cold's spot with with The Rock at the yeah. end of it. So it was supposed to be Austin. Unless there's a serious illness in his family or something, if he wanted to be there. He, he could have been there. Yeah. Like, so they have private jets. They could have picked that guy up in Texas and had him there within six hours. And And it's not like this kind of thing isn't – it's not like this isn't pre-planned. Like they they already knew the finish to the match probably a month in advance, so how the hell does he not get there in time? Uh, I can say whatever I want. You want to cancel me? Go ahead. I'm the final boss. I don't think you could cancel the final boss. No, you, I don't care. Well, it's your show. Like, I don't care if if the show ends, the show ends. Can I just that, can I say that's what thing? I don't care about? Can I say one thing? I just any of the opinions that I share are, are like my own. And I just want to stay that, say, state that I'm not really a huge wrestling fan. I used to watch it uh, years ago with my brother, and I but I don't know most of the new uh, wrestlers. So I'm looking at it from a purely like historical point of view on their abilities alone because I don't know their personalities or the storyline or anything like that. So that's what was cool about it for me. I was kind of reintroduced to all these new wrestlers. Like uh, he, someone mentioned Sami Zayn. Uh, I thought that finishing move he, he did that was, uh, it was he dropped him on his head. Yeah, that was amazing. Like I never seen anything like that before. So that was pretty cool. Um, he's saying Jimmy Uso was Jimmy Uso the guy where everyone was going like this with their hands. That's Jay. That's Jay. Well, that for me was one of the mo the best matches just because of the energy of the crowd. Like people were they loved Jay Uso and uh, and that's the thing with WrestleMania you can't really tell at home, but it's the vibe of the crowd and when you're there you don't hear the announcers. So the crowd is a living, breathing thing, and you don't get to experience that at home, and it's it's really kind of sad because that's the best part of all of it, don't you think? Uh, Priest definitely had a huge pop. I even popped. I, I thought it was exciting. Uh, I liked how they did that. Sorry. <laughs> as soon as as soon as McIntyre went over and started screwing around with Punk, I knew something was up. Like yeah, they're Mike, they're Mike killing called time. Right. I called it like five minutes he's before. Like, he's gonna cash. He's gonna in. cash in. Uh, it was it was fairly easy to figure out, uh, and you know what? I honestly thought they should have done the exact same thing to Cody and have the Rock be the be the one to cause that. Uh, like, hey man, I know you won, but you ain't leaving this building with the title. That's what the Rock should have done with Cody, 
and had Priest cash in and the Bloodline do a beatdown kind of thing. How's it going, Paul? What's going on, Paul? All the way from Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts. Really? We were just yeah. close to you, man. Very close. We're not that close. Well, we're, uh, what? I was surprised how close it was to New Jersey. Like It's that. right across the river. I never knew that, that those two cities were that close. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, New Jersey is a state. I thought, like, uh, I thought... New Jer- the main city in New Jersey is Newark. That's across from New York City. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, there's different parts of New Jersey. Like, New Jersey doesn't have a now real massive... Even, now my mind's even more blown. Like, Atlantic City's <laughs> on the coast, obviously. That kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. Like How this, far were you from I, Jersey Shore? Uh, a couple hours, maybe. The next time we got to go hang out with Snooki. Snooki? Yeah. She's been at WrestleMania. Of course she has. No, like, in the ring. I know, Michael. Uh, I thought the whole Snoop Dogg thing was stupid. Like, I don't... Eh, whatever. He was just made cash in the check, that's all. Yeah. I'm surprised he's still uh, active with WWE now that Sasha. his his no talent cousin is uh, you know in, in AEW. Is that Sasha? I literally had somebody argue with me, and I hope they're on. They I I want them to talk. I want their opinion, and I want you guys to respond in kind to them as to what you think. If Dan is online, I want him to say what he said to me about AEW. He said that WrestleMania Saturday was so bad. That people turn, turned over to Collision just to save the night for wrestling. I don't know what kind of drugs that Dan does, but like it's some powerful shit. It's got to be like an elephant tranquilizer or something like well, that. Well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, I get I, that, Greg. But at some point, at some point, I don't know. At some point, reality has to kick in with people, or it's just I can't handle that, man. Like it was. It, I wouldn't say it was the greatest WrestleMania of all time because I think Saturday kind of dropped it a bit. But Sunday night WrestleMania, that 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 I, someone said, "Oh, it's overbooked." Okay, I get that, but it's the fortieth. Who's at the door? You got a sign on. Oh shit! Yeah, Good we're closed time. up. Yeah, yeah, okay. I agree, Ryan. I didn't think there was any bad matches. There were some bad matches. Um, I thought they were all entertaining. Like when I I missed a couple. Uh, for bathroom breaks and stuff when the ladies come out i'm not gonna lie you know i went to go have a bathroom break Pat, plus patrick was with us so i had to do the dad thing yeah the so the usos were a letdown in my opinion <laughs> exactly like that's what i'm saying like he said a lot of people uh were were excited for collision afterwards because of the fact that uh, you know, it saved the night as far as wrestling goes. I'm like, come on, man. What's what's wrong with wrestling being entertaining? Uh, it's okay to have a few guys that were are like technical studs in the ring, like a Chad Gable. Uh, and, and honestly, like, if they, if they unleashed what Seth Rollins could do or Chad Gable could do, I don't, I don't see why they're not uh, in the same conversation as the Kenny Omegas and those guys. Like, they just kind of reel them back. Because they don't want their stars hurt all the time. If a guy's hurt, he's not making you any money. If he's not able to perform, he's not making you a dime. Here's my opinion on the matter. Like, if you're a fan of professional wrestling, why do you have to only be a fan of WWE or only AEW? So Why can't you like all wrestling? The, I, I have no issue with that. I do watch AEW from time to time, and my opinion is that it's awful. Uh, they have no storytelling ability whatsoever. And that's the big... Oh, it's not about stories. It's about wrestling. Okay, cool. So why don't you go to more indie indie events then where they don't have a backstory because you have no idea who these people are because it's not on television. That's almost more entertaining at times. Yes. So if, if you're just there for the for the pure wrestling of it, for just go fun. to an indie event. Yeah, for the fun of it. Yeah. Like why pay the money to go to, you know, you go to anything? Some uh, Maybe some people take it too seriously. Uh, I don't think so, Jay. Drew and Seth was not a squash match. Uh, it, it was well written. Obviously, Seth the night before hurt his knee. So that was that was the main reason that Drew attacked his knee. Obviously, uh, I thought it was quick, but it's no different than say like it wasn't a squash match like Daniel Bryan losing to Sheamus. You know what I mean? Where he takes the the running knee and it's over. It's oh sorry. I'll speak. I'll get closer to the microphone. He's not a seasoned vet behind the uh, the camera like myself. <laughs> It was a sprint to fit. Yeah, I guess. So. But isn't that's the problem with wrestling? Like, uh, that's that's why I can't buy Cody Rhodes. Like he he hit him with 
seven or eight, uh, seven or eight crossroads during the match. Plus, yes, over and over and over. Yeah, over and over and over. You know what I mean? Like, he hit him twice with three separate crossroads. Uh, Paul? Nah, Paul. So, Orton doesn't need it. We talked about We this talked about this at the event. The way home. Yeah. Uh, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens do not need a title. Because for... they're, they're Hall of Famers, you know, like Orton especially. And I was never a fan of his. Uh, but uh, I said that to Mike on the way home. You know, I was never a fan of Randy Orton, but he's been a great wrestler for a really long time. And so same thing, you have to give him much respect. And so, like Mike says, he doesn't need to win that match. Cause no, he's, no. he's a multiple champ- world champion. Like, and, and, and love him or hate him, most people hate the guy. Logan Paul is legit. Yeah, like I so, thought, he is he is one of the most entertaining wrestlers they have. He's very skilled. Uh, his frog splash that he did to finish that match, I don't know if I don't know if television can really put it into perspective. How high that guy gets off that top rope? Plus he Montez makes, Ford is the only guy that is even. What is going on? He makes a great bad guy. You know, like he's good at it. Yeah, like he's would, naturally a, he, he's the guy, he's so a that, natural heel. Isn't that what you want? Like, exactly. He does a great job at it. So it's look, he does an unbelievable job, and and he's the right guy to keep the U.S. title because he is money. Like he is, he puts eyes on the product because of because of his stature. Yeah, he just makes wrestling a global thing because he's he's big. You know, like he is a ultim, like a huge multimedia personality, and that just brings more fans to wrestling. It's so beneficial for all parties. Pat, you're absolutely right. For a guy that's never that just came into the business as an adult, like he he never trained. Uh, prior to him, you know, coming to WWE, he just felt like, "Hey, I want to be a wrestler." Uh, well, first of all, didn't he just get involved as a as a sponsor and like a one, uh, you know, one off type thing? That's how he weasels his way in. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like for him to be that good, I, hear hear me out. Hear me out. You know, he has to love it, right? He lo- absolutely loves right. it. He is the closest thing, and and I I think I used to think Seth Rollins was probably. Uh, probably like one of the best wrestlers in WWE. Obviously, uh, he's kind of he's kind of playing it safe for the last maybe ever since his knee injury. Let's put it, he's been playing it a little safe. He doesn't take as many risks. But I'm telling you right now that Logan Paul in the ring can do the exact same thing Seth Rollins does he's with very, ease. Very with talented, ease. Very talented. Yes. Uh, and and Chad Gable's a different type of animal, but he's he's phenomenal as well. Uh, right. Mike was saying the same thing that. Uh... Uh, where was your comment? Sorry, I lost it. They lucked out getting Pat McAfee. I didn't even know he wrestled, but Mike was saying that before the show. And the other uh, comment about Brock versus Gunther. Mike's pretty big on Gunther too. He really likes him. Yeah, uh, Gunther's awesome. Like, so I'm just I'm just gonna th- float this out there. Gunther lost the belt, so he can go after the world heavyweight title when he when he decides to come back. I think these guys, Gunther, Reigns for sure. Uh, there were rumors floating around the stadium. I, I don't know. I don't want to. I. It's not something. That I know for sure, but there were rumors floating around the stadium from people that probably know that Reigns' cancer has come back, so that's why he's dropping the belt. Well, they figured Cody would win anyways, but Reigns needs to take some time off again. I, so. I think in a way it was a, to, to, to pay homage to Cody, Goldust, his dad. I mean, the family has been... But why? But because the family has been so uh, such a huge part of wrestling for so long. So? It's like you said, his dad was never champ. Was Goldust ever heavy, heavyweight champ? No. Well, the family, like the family, did a lot for wrestling. They're not good enough to be the well, champ. So, so everybody was, out there was Goldust ever uh, intercontinental? Yes. Like okay. Yes. And was Dusty ever intercontinental? They didn't. I don't think they had it back then. Oh. Well, maybe they had. It. I don't know. Who cares? Well, that's what I. That's one of the reasons why. So I that that's the reason that I don't buy the whole Cody bullshit. Because he's not as good as everybody thinks he is. So. Or sorry, he's not as good as he thinks he is. The problem with Cody has been he's always been his own biggest fan. Uh, he's always thought he deserved more, but why? He's a mid carder at best. Uh, the only the only thing about the guy that's any good is his theme song. You know what I mean? Like he's got a cool superhero costume. Yeah, he wears a cool costume. He's got an awful tattoo on his neck. Beth, Beth made light of his tattoo. She touched like, me come like, on, what's man? the deal with this dude's tattoo? I'm like, and I, I we couldn't see him because we weren't that close. Like I said, I'm not an avid wrestling fan. I'm like, what are you talking about? So he's got a tattoo on his neck that says Dream or something? Cody Rhodes? Dream? Uh, American Nightmare. Oh, on his neck? Yeah, so I get the the revenge. 
uh, on on Seth Rollins for the Shield. Uh, what I'm going to say though is that uh, the reason Cody is popular is because of anti. It's pretty silly, really. Cody is popular and gained his popularity because of anti WWE fans. There are people that got sick of the product, and there was a lot of them. So they just jumped and on they his, jumped on the Cody bandwagon. Bang okay. bandwagon. And then when he came back, they stuck with Cody because they were fans of Cody. Because Cody did, in, in fact, help establish AEW. So, he brought those fans over with him. And then gained some more fans when he came back to WWE. Because when people chant your theme song in the crowd, people chant your theme song in the crowd. Yeah. It's like it's like monkey see, monkey do, folks. Just an observation that I noticed in the crowd. A lot of the people cheering for Cody were young kids. You know? Yes. Like so, he's... Ch he's He's getting the Hulk Hogan treatment, yeah, the superhero he's treatment. Like, uh, you know, like the Whereas little, the yeah. adults, it was all this, folks. All this. That's that's weird to me too, though, dude. I don't I don't get that. He's my tribal chief, Greg. Yeah, well, you're not you're not Polynesian, like it, you're not. What tribe are you in? You're Paul, like <laughs> all these guys are putting their fingers up. I'm like, what's going on, man? Wrestling fans are crazy. He's not even Polynesian. He's half. Well, then why is he doing it? What's, what bloodline is he? Part well, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm gonna, I'll fight him right now. I'm telling. You. No, he's so. I never, I never, I never was a big Roman Reigns fan until the Bloodline. Okay, what that guy did. Uh, he what's this? It's Craig your wise man. No, I need one of those necklaces, man. They're pretty cool. The red ones. With all, they look like. Uh, so I was never a Paul. Uh, sorry, I was never a Roman Reigns fan until the Bloodline storyline. Uh, and, and I, I never liked Sami Zayn either, but Sami Zayn entering the bloodline put a, put a huge spotlight on it and it was just the best entertainment that they've done in years. So I give the, I give Roman Reigns prop because he is literally, if it was a, a contest for, uh, charisma or acting, he's hand time, he's hands down the best. Like he's must see TV, uh, whether you like him or not, if he, if, if it's because he's got a light schedule, Okay. Uh, I'm a Brock Lesnar fan. You know why I'm a Brock Lesnar fan? Because when he's on TV, I make sure I tune in because that's the that's the show, guys. Uh, how do I put this? Less is more. Uh, you know, we're going to see Cody every week, twice a week on Raw and SmackDown now, walking around with his belt. Uh, eventually, the fans are going to turn on him. I give it three months. I give it three months before the well, fans half the, turn on half him. the fans hate him already. So Half the fans already hate him because they beat because he. Or I would say like. Well, it's probably fifty. 50. It's fifty fifty probably. Uh, Brock is due back. That's that's something that's out there that Brock's probably on his way back. Brock's probably going to be the guy to come in and take that to title from Cody, and people will lose their shit. One thing uh, about wrestling fans, I want to make note though, that's different than a lot of sporting uh, fans. Even though half the fan was split, even though half the crowd was split between Cody and Roman. No one was uh, aggressive or nasty to me. Whoa, whoa. Minus those, there was a couple guys, a couple rows behind us that kept asking. Kept Almost got into a fight. people to sit down. And Mike had So WrestleMania that. starts, okay? It's night two. And everybody stands. It's, you paid your money. Okay. Paul's saying Cody does not. So a lot of, like my brother said, a lot of Cody's fans are women and children. Uh, he appeals to them. Uh, that's that's probably about 70% of his fan base, if I'm being honest. Um, what happened was, uh, all of a sudden I hear this, sit down, please. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> They're not from North America, I can tell you that much. Sit down, please. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, really? Like, WrestleMania just starts, Stephanie McMahon's in the ring walking us to WrestleMania, and this guy's like, I cannot see! And I'm like, stand up, dude! What's wrong with your fucking legs? That, this didn't bother me as much as the large black man that walked by and, like, grinded his private parts against the back of my uh, tooth. That, it happens that was, a lot. That was more upsetting to me. Numerous times. Yeah, and... There was like, a guy sitting behind us, get, wearing gray sweatpants, with a child's arm... <laughs> Yeah, I can and like the thump, on thump, your head you know? all yeah. night long. I'm like, look, dude. <laughs> like, hey, man, I, I know this has got to stop. Just please don't bang your junk off my head again. And the guy sitting next to me with his family, he had he had three kids with him. They walked literally around. rubbed his ass on me the entire night. Stand up and like rub it on my shoulder a little bit. I think he like liked stop, it. guys. I think he liked it. 
Like, you gotta stop this shit. Like, I'm a large gentleman. He was, he was uh, maybe even cuter than his wife, and she was very beautiful. Like, he was a handsome man. No, I'm talking about the guy to my left. With the, the wavy hair. Oh, him and his son the first night. The first night, sorry. Oh, okay, I, yeah. I thought you meant the second night. Yeah, so... I, I just could not believe that... Well, like, Pat McAfee might know, like, if anybody, because he's in pretty thick with the wrestlers. I, We can't speculate, because, like, we're not... Yeah, we're, we don't know. Roman Reigns' family. We hope he doesn't have cancer, obviously. But if he does, we wish... Wish him a speedy recovery. So, anyways, here we go. Food? Yeah, man, we're gonna start. We're gonna start doing cards soon too. So, okay. anytime. Grab no, I'm okay, man. <laughs> That's putting it mildly large, gentleman. But what I'm saying, Kevin, in all rudeness that you're portraying. <laughs> Is that I can walk through an aisle without rubbing my cock yeah, on somebody? Yeah, that's the whole point. Like we're big men, and we don't like what's going don't on rub here, our man. Junk off the people when we're going down like I, I make sure that, especially not the back of their head. I make that's, sure that's that I'm not. Ha- I, I make sure that I don't ejaculate on somebody in my <laughs> row. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, we try not to. But, hey, I, to say maybe it's ever happened, I would say it's probably happened, nah, but not on purpose. Like, but that's, yeah, that seemed purposeful. No, I'm gonna have wings, man. Kind of saucy. Uh, medium if there's a medium there. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the cards. Let's do kinda, let's do some cards, all right? Kind of pick uh, you guys. They traveled a long way, ten hours. Check this road. guy out. So you, you guys, I don't know if you realize how big this is. I think it's, it's eleven by seventeen. A lot of people do. Or eleven and a half by seventeen. Child, uh, Jeff, especially in America, there, there's a lot of rudeness. They, they'll run, they'll run you over, man. They don't care. Sit you know, down, please. We had guys bump into Patrick and I walking through the concourse, grown men w- walk into an eleven-year-old boy and almost knock him over. Like they don't, they just don't care. So you gotta hold your kids. I'm close. not saying I. I'm terrified of killing somebody. If I'm being honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm I'm not he joking. Has, he has nightmares about it. I have nightmares because if anybody, if it ever got to the point where there was an altercation, I don't think I'd stop. So. They'd have to have at least the police there to tase me, which would probably be hilarious to me. But the thing I'm most terrified about is getting arrested in the United States, yeah, and, going to and then yeah, never be being funny. able to travel for work again. <laughs> well, that was, no, just uh, you can go into prison in the United States for you know, like come on, man. We drove past the prison on the way there, and it did not look friendly, folks. Uh, you don't want to be there. Let's it, do some cards, guys. Jay Strong, it's a really cool pick. It is like I'm not a Cody fan, but it is a very cool looking picture for sure. One I don't get that. the dog. The dog's ridiculous. Well, you're not a dog lover like some of us, Mike. Hey, hey, I told Mike I had a uh, WrestleMania. You know how you have, like, you make a wish a little wish? Yep. So I said, if I can make a WrestleMania wish a little wish, and I'm totally joking, by the way, I said we would end the show by me, Jack, Cameron, and Brandon through a table. I don't even, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a finishing move. Okay. You basically lift the guy up and you It's pop. pretty sexy. Well, we'll look it up after the you show. All right. You think you can get me up? 200, 205 pounds. In what I, way? I, I, oh! <laughs> there's only, I think I could, man. Okay. All right, we're starting this show off, guys. The pack bar is open. Uh, we're not going to focus too much on the pack bar tonight. It is available if anybody wants any, though. But we're going to start. We've got a Calvin Johnson uh, press proof silver from Donruss out of a hundred. Megatron. Megatron. Eighteen dollars on the Cody or sorry, Cody. Fuck. Calvin Johnson uh, out of a hundred. Eighteen bucks. So the show is going to be quick, guys. Uh, if it doesn't look like the card's going to sell, I'm going to pull it, and that's gone. Adam, pace yourself, man. You know how wrestling works, eh? Like, you have to help me lift you up. You gotta, like, jump Well, I'm not gonna help you lift. You get slammed It's for the show, bro. All right. (laughs) Here it is. We've got the Cody Rhodes rookie card from Topps. This is his first appearance on a card for WWE for Topps. He's the champ. We got $1 bid increments, $1 opening bid with 60 seconds on the clock. It's rolling. Have at it. Huh? It's rolling. Love him or hate him. See, if anything. He's the champ, folks. If anything, it would be like Hogan versus the Giants. I could probably slam you. We could do both. Like, I've, it's WrestleMania. You cannot hold nothing back, dude. Oh, that's true. And that's what people don't understand. Like, the, the event itself, it was just, they, were, they did not. They don't have a medium? Anything back. I was telling, no, uh, Barbecue and uh, whatever the other one was. I Buffalo. hope Tim Scott's watching because I want to touch his cards with food. <laughs> Where's the, what, I can't see the. you got uh, 20 seconds left. It looks like Brett has bid a dollar. Really? Not a lot of love for Cody Rhodes. Five bucks for the modern awesome. day cowboy Mitch Miller. Nice, Mr. Mitch Miller. <laughs> he is the, the champ. Modern day cowboy. 
Jay Strong, 10. Nice. 10 bucks. Joe. Goodbye. Oh, you just missed it, I think, Jeff. Who got it? Joe. Joe Strong? Joe Strong, yeah. All right, slow things down. Vladimir Guerrero, Topps Chrome, 35th anniversary, 5 bucks. Think he's going to have a good year this year? No. How many home runs do you think he'll hit? Eight. <laughs> I'll think he'll hit more than eight. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm what did he get last year? Like 32. You might want to go with the over on that one. <laughs> eight. Over under 25, what you pick? Adam, <laughs> pace yourself, dude. I think the Jays are in big trouble this year, guys. You think so? I do. Uh, I don't like a couple of their acquisitions. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Guerrero myself personally. It's my own personal opinion. And I don't like, and there's a couple guys they just picked up that I like even less. Gonna All right, so you're going to see me uh, shuffling papers quite a bit because I'm actually going to bounce around here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, five stacks of cards to pull from. So they're not all written down in, in the right order. Or they're written down in the right order, but but they're by stacks, okay? Hey, Brando. Can you do me a favor and just slide this over a little bit? So yeah, we can't see the comments. See the comments. So if I, if I shuffle some pages around, it doesn't mean anything. It's just I'm pulling from a different pile. All right. Gee, to know, ask the boat to pick how you enter to win. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do that in a bit. Stay tuned. Uh... There's going to be a certain time in the in the night. We're, like, we're not just going to say, hey, we're going to give away at the start because everybody will fuck off and leave. We're, we're smarter than that, man. I don't think so. I think, I think they're here for the long No, time. no, no. They'll leave. It'll drop down to, like, eight people. It's a special WrestleMania show. Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe the price to, to meet someone. Uh, we haven't done a draw for the, for the picture yet. The picture's still available. Just everybody be patient. It's available. I couldn't believe the, the kind of prices Mike was telling me that some of these superstars charge for autographs to me because I'm, I'm late to the game. WWE World was absolutely insane for the pricing. Yeah. Uh, not my cup of tea. Especially, especially when... Like, I, I deal in sports cards, guys. So, I know that you get to meet them when you get your, when you get your item signed. But when I can buy... An Undertaker autograph on eBay numbered to like ten for like three hundred dollars right now, hard signed, or it cost me like six hundred dollars for a VIP package to see him for five seconds and get an unlimited item signed. Yeah, I'm like I'm out, guys. Yeah, it's and like, wait three hours. And you know the crazy part was there was hundreds upon hundreds of people lined up to do that. Hundreds. It, it was mind boggling to me. I actually thought the auto. I was naive enough to think the autographs were free, and Mike's like, no, man. Some were, some yeah, were. Not the Undertaker. I went up and asked the guy, and he told me the prices, and they, to me it was outrageous. It was six hundred bucks. I will. I will. It was Canadian. Two fifty. It was four hundred U.S. I think. <laughs> Two fifty to three fifty. So here we go. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. This is a gate or a race used tire. We have twenty dollars on it. We're gonna have some NASCAR tonight. We usually don't have NASCAR. We have a mixture of everything tonight. So if you're a fan of all cards. This is your night to watch. Yeah, there's some we have cards. NASCAR, WWE, uh, Major League Baseball, NFL, which we don't usually cover. Some basketball. Uh, we got a little bit of basketball. We've got Disney, Star Wars. Uh, what else? We got it's hockey, awesome. obviously. These cards travel a long. These cards ago. travel ten hours. Jeff Bernie's gonna get that. Jeff, you're gonna really like the show tonight. There is some killer stuff, man. Did you guys see the preview pictures of the Ewok fur? That's awesome, yeah. That's a freaking awesome card, we man. We laughed pretty hard when we had, card. So, we couldn't... So, as I'm driving down the highway, I said to Greg, I'm like, look up what that Ewok's worth. I bought it on a whim. <laughs> so, there are Ewok fur cards from... Uh, if it was Wicked, it was what, like $600? Yeah, it was crazy. Oh. Crazy money, Ooh. yeah. So, that, unfortunately, <laughs> I got one of the lesser-known background Ewoks. Yeah. So it's just a generic Ewok, but well, still cool. Because everybody knows who. Because everybody knows who Wicked is. Sure because he, yeah. I don't know, he's the one barbecue and C three PO. I like think one percent of the population knows who. Not even knows who Wicked. All right, is. next card up, we got a beautiful Barry Sanders die cut. This is the red and blue select die cut. One dollar opening bid, one dollar bid increments, and I'm having a chicken wing. Do you think Barry Sanders is underrated? No, no. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. If anything, he's overrated. <laughs> no. Like, longevity, the guy could have been shit in his last four or five That's years. That's my whole point. The guy purposely only played ten years, right? So I don't even think it was that much. I think it was eight years. No, it, no, it was ten. Years. It was ten. He And he said when he uh, when he was a rookie, like, I'm going to play a certain amount of time, then I'm retiring. And he stuck to his word. Imagine the, the records that guy could have set if he continued to play. And how dominant he was on a terrible football team. Think about that. 
it, like I think he should be argued as the greatest running back of all time. Myself personally, I'm not in no way, shape, or form a Lions fan. Well, that wouldn't make him underrated then, if you're saying. He is underrated though, time. because they don't talk about him like that. Yeah, they do. I know he's a Hall of Famer. He's the, he's always in the Mount Rushmore of running backs. Right? Oh, okay. You can't you can't do any better than that. Well, all right, I didn't know that. Like, uh, it looks like seven's the current high bid. Matt McLean, five seconds left. A lot of pe- people say Jim Brown and like Earl Campbell. They're much larger men, right? So they have that that benefit. It matters. Nine dollars, Darcy. Nine bucks, Darcy. You got that cheap, Darcy. Walter was smooth, eh? Uh, but Barry was like a little. Uh, Barry was small. He's like a little jitterbug, eh? He just like bounce off of people, and and, and then you disappear behind a wall of people, and then all, all of a sudden right. run for forty. Number to ninety nine, we have the Young Bucks dual memorabilia to twenty five dollars. The Young Bucks AEW memorabilia dual mat relics. Uh, they are the uh, the guys that run. AEW, I guess. I knew Uncle Brian would chime in with Jim Brown. That's why I mentioned him. He's always said. Well, he's also best. an older. He's like no, it's not a, a right. knock on him, but he's older, no. so he watched Jim Brown. Right, I never got to see him. So play. I never seen Walter Payton play, even though I'm a Bears fan. And like, like I was like five when he retired. Yeah, and I was only I only got to see him until I was like twelve or thirteen. So that's why it's it's Barry for me, really. I don't know. Like it, it a lot of a lot of it goes into it, right? So like. Barry, uh, Barry, here's, here's why it's so hard to do any of this, to compare any of this, okay? Because Emmett Smith. It's all situational. Yeah, it's all situational. Emmett Smith had the best, uh, offensive line in the, in the world. Yeah, and Barry played on a four team. That's right. But Emmett Smith put up out of, outer space numbers, you know what I mean? Like, plus, he was, plus, like, plus championships. Plus championships. Yes. Like, he was, in, it was incredible. But... You know, it, it all feeds into each other. So, I'm going to throw this up. I, I love this card. It is a Celine Dion ticket from... Hey, 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 where's uh, where's Paul here? Were you at this concert, Paul? I think you're a Celine Dion fan. Uh, Celine Dion from Pop Century, live in concert from TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. And yeah, that's one day before my birthday. We got 30 bucks on the Celine Dion event use ticket. In case you're looking to buy me a gift this year, it's December 15th, one day after the concert. Uh, she's looking rough, eh? She's sick. Yeah, she's really sick. What's wrong with her? She's dying, isn't she? Well, we're all dying. She's got yeah, like a... Like, I think so. She's like literally... Oh, she's she's like, got she's like, like a... It's like a form of Parkinson's yeah, or MS or yeah, something, yeah, isn't it? She's dying in a hurry. Is, is it an ALS? Does she have ALS? No, I don't think so. Well, that's too bad. Songbird of a generation. They brought her out for, uh, for the Grammys or something like that, and she got snubbed by Taylor Swift, and that was a big deal. What do you mean snub? We well, apparently see, uh, Taylor Swift didn't spend enough time with her, and they were like, oh my goodness. One cool part about WrestleMania is we got to see the greatest rapper of all time, Little Wayne. And Mike was telling me how big of a fan he was. So. That wasn't, all he did was bring out Jay Us, and there was like, he just walked out with him. You still from, what I, from what I understand, Lil Wayne was supposed to do his, his entire new song, and it, it never happened. All right, this is a killer. With, with Father's Day coming up in June, this is unbelievable. This is the Father's Day uh, relic. Of Bo Bichette. We're going to start it at a dollar with a one dollar bid increment. Uh, if you're watching and your dad's a Jays fan, this is a really cool card. I especially like Bo Bichette when he does like batting practice in his in his uh, tank top with the arms cut off. Yeah. That, that's when I like watching Bo Bichette. Celine Dion's time. official diagnosis is called stiff person syndrome. And it's I, I've had that a couple an times. An autoimmune but... reaction oh, sorry, where, where the body attacks nerve cells in the central nervous system that control muscle movement. What the fuck is this? Man, like, that's another disease we've got to worry about now, Mike. Like, life wasn't hard enough. And now they pull I like the sh- pun there, it was good. Huh? Life wasn't hard enough. Right, like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, all this stuff's going on now. Celine's got, Celine's got this rare disease we got to worry about now. And the locusts are coming. It's not, times aren't tough enough, you know. Uncle Brian's in there blind. for ten bucks, man. I thought, you painted, uh, I thought you painted your front door with lamb's blood. Well, we did, to, you know. Fifteen dollars to the raid. The Wraith, 007. Oh, that's triple O seven. He's a super, super eight. Yeah. That's Brian next door. That's going to Brian. Nice pickup, Brian. Stay with us, Brian. We got some really cool shit tonight. Right up your alley. I love baseball cards. I'm just going to throw that out there. Collect a lot of tigers. Especially the old guy, Sparky, Trammel, Whitaker, uh, Ty Cobb. All right. So this was only available at the National Convention. Speaking of which, there's a tiger right there. It is the Miguel Cabrera. Uh, was it the Cleveland National or the Chicago National? Uh, Bowman Chrome 
has $25 on it. Uh, Mike and I were talking about him on our trip, and I think Biggie's, uh, in the annals of time, I think it, it might be a good idea to invest in his cards. Just because of nope. num his numbers in the triple But buy crown. this one. Well, <laughs> he's, he's the first guy to hit for a triple crown in a yeah, long time. Yeah. Since Ted Williams. Very long TikTok time. brain, man. TikTok brain. Well. People don't care, Greg. You don't think people care? I don't think people care. He's one of the greatest Tigers of all time. I don't I don't disagree with that, right. but people don't care. Well, some people care. You can buy Mark McGuire cards for, for nothing. Yeah, but he did so many steroids. So? Do you think Mickey didn't do them? Uh, I stood next to the guy. He seemed like a junkie kid, just kind of like me, but a little bit not as good looking. Talented? As good as, yeah, right. Talented, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have no sale on the Miguel Cabrera. I think this one will sell. We'll throw this one up. You guys all know who this is, right? So Brandon and I are talking. He's like, this is going to be a big one tonight. We have the Caitlin Clark first Bowman rookie card from Iowa. Uh, $1 bid increments with $1 start. Brandon's like, oh, man, you're, you're yeah, oxygen. Yeah. He goes, this is going to go nuts, this man. Is, yeah. Didn't she just break a record or something? Well, yeah, high, most points in college history. In, in a quarter of college history, yeah. No, no. In, in the championship. No, career. I mean. No, career. Well, she just you're, broke. Greg, sit forward. You're breaking the, uh, oh, the pain. She also there. just broke the record for most points in a quarter. Rob Stange year. starts things off at $15. That's a, that's a, that's a brave start, Rob. I like it. A lot of guys throw it what they're willing to pay. See, Ice Cube's uh, talking about paying her five million bucks or something about uh, three million to join the big three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was seeing something about that on the sports news. They're saying she'll make more doing that for a year than she would in like five years. Seven hundred fifty thousand <laughs> for the top. Or was it seventy five thousand? Yeah. Yeah, the WNBA is going to have to break the bank to pay this lady, I think. But rookie contracts, rookie contracts. Yeah, you can't break the rookie contracts. Well, maybe yeah. she'll just go play somewhere She can else. get bonuses. Yeah. Or oh, she, oh, $16 to Matt McClain. She's going to make more money doing just endorsements. Like, yeah. way more money. In, McLean. in at the wire. He, he snagged that one. They, we call that a snipe in the business, ladies and gentlemen. All right. She How about this, guys? She played for Iowa? Hawkeyes, yeah. From the in the game Canadiana set, we have the Fergie Jenkins autograph for twenty eight dollars tonight. Oh, Rob's like sheesh. Rob, you got done dirty. I have the sheesh uh, sound effect, buddy, but I just can't play it. Mike Drury with the quick, quick claim on the Ferguson Jenkins. How cheap was that, eh? Crazy. All right, Mike. While you're here, check this card out. I know you. I know you bought a couple of these. This. I can't believe. Did you see? I picked this up. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah. This Joey Bart. This is the uh, uh, game used. What is it called? It's like a dirt card, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a uh, relic from the infield from the actual game. Yeah, it says ballpark dirt. Right? Ballpark dirt. We have twenty dollars on the Joey Bart. It is a rookie card as well. So like, if you touch this, it's kind of like. He's with the Jays now, isn't he? No, I think he's. I don't think so. I right, can someone check who Joey Bart's playing for? Well, yeah. he's a rookie in twenty twenty two with San Fran, so I'm sure he's still there. Okay, I got an interesting story about twenty dollars on the Joey Bart dirt card. Uh, this uh, relic here is actually dirt. I have an interesting story. When Uncle Murray passed away, I wrote the Montreal Expos a letter, and I said, "Listen, my uncle and I uh, went to a lot of games there, and we had a lot of good memories. And unfortunately, he's passed away." Is there any way you can send me some dirt from the infield of the outfield so I can sprinkle it on this grave? So I've had the opportunity to just, over the years to sprinkle that on Uncle Murray's grave. He just got, where'd he go, Pelkey? Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah. All right, so yeah. he's still playing. Yeah, so I had some dirt from the Big O. They sent it to me, Mike, with a letter uh, thanking me for being an expo. So. No a, takers on the Joey Bart. That is a cool card, though. He was though. a second overall pick. Yeah. All right, where's my Lions fans at? We have the Jameer Gibbs... Premier Jersey rookie card from Prism for the Detroit Lions. $1 bid increments, $1 starting bid. We're going to auction this one as well. So I thought of the dirt card 20 years ago. Jameer Gibbs, rookie with the Lions. Expos were a classy organization to do that, right? They well, it's not like anybody's playing on it. Well, no, but they sent me a really <laughs> nice letter. There's even sunflower seeds in it. It was pretty cool, man. They said that That's pretty cool. Yeah, they said sunflower it was, seeds. They we got six dollar got... opening bid from Darcy they said Bellinger. It was, uh, dirt from the from home plate and from the outfield warning track. They oh, sent me good. a letter with it in there. That's awesome. Yeah. Sunflower seeds. 
sunflower seeds are perennials, right? So don't no, no, like they were chewed. Though. They were like. Uh, we got about ten seconds oh, left on the like Lions star the rookie water. running back. The guys that eat them and they spit them out. Spit them out them. Yeah. We got eleven to Bebuck. Bebuck's got the lead at eleven right now. And twelve dollars to Darcy. Thirteen to Corey Buyo at the time limit. Yeah, that was a nice card. Thirteen to Corey for the win. He did make it in time too. I could hear it in my yeah, headset. Yeah, you're good. Just Roger just messed up. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go back to this one here. Where are we at? We did the dirt relic. What's this? Oh, this. I'll wait. I'll wait on this card because I think the birdie boys are gonna like that. One, let's do. Uh, where is that? Hold on a second here. All right, we'll go back to the. Check this out, Jean Beliveau, piece of history, NHL Legends game you stick. Uh, I need a replay on that. No, I heard it in, in my headset, man. What is on me? Uh, thirty-two dollars on the Jean Beliveau. Is it, that, is it that beer that that guy threw on you at the stadium? That Did was I nice. spill sauce on myself? That was nice, eh, after WrestleMania. Oh, it's all over my... What the fuck? Guy oh, it's a, Gatorade. Guy chucked a beer on Mike right at the end of WrestleMania. When Cody won, he was like... like purposely... Well, he was pissed off. Well, he jumped up in the air and he, uh, he flung yeah, a beer. I think he was pissed off Cody won and he threw his beer. Or do you think he did it out of celebration? Celebration. Oh, okay. He kicked it. Oh, did he? Yeah, he jumped up and kicked his beer and well, his beer All of a sudden, Mike like, went like this and he's like, Oh, man, I just got covered like a beer all over me. I'm like, well, that's nice. I hope we get pulled over. <laughs> $32 on the Jean Beliveau game you stick in the NHL logo. That's a cool card. Am I able to bid? If you want to. Oh, okay. Just curious. Because I know there's a card coming up. Uh, I can't talk about it for confidentiality reasons, but there is one that I'm That's really, right. really, really interested in. All right. For our vintage Leaf fans, we have 59 Noel Price. Uh, $24 on the 1959 Parky. Just, this is just, I'm just checking to see if Dale's online. That's a nice card. I mean, from What's what wrong I've with the camera? Is it blurry? From nope. what, what I've seen yeah, in the hobby, blurry. when you find cards like this, you should buy them because there's not that many of them around, folks. It's a little blurry. Dale's online. It looks like it's in pretty nice shape, too. All right, we've lowered the price on this one. It's the Austin Matthews first overall pick. Uh, selection souvenirs from Artifacts. It's a picture of him at the draft. We have $40 on the Austin Matthews jersey. He's having a shitty year, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> he's five away from 70. Yeah, he's having a shitty year, folks. I feel bad for him. Think he'll do anything in the playoffs this year? Uh, I'm not going to make a call. Are they playing in Florida? Think he'll disappear? Are they playing Florida? Yeah. They're done. Uh, I don't think it... I don't want to upset anybody, but I don't think it matters what he does. I don't think the Leafs have a team to, to go late, uh, deep into the playoffs. He can score all he wants, but when you have very little defense or goaltending, you're in big trouble. My own personal opinion, not trying to hurt anybody's yeah, feelings. Yeah, you know, I 100% agree or, with that. And I don't watch a lot of hockey, so I know jack shit. They sell so. too much money into their uh, the Edmonton's top got guys. the same problem, man. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Edmonton's in big trouble, too. Like, you you need to have a team that's more balanced than you know across the board to, to go deep into the playoffs. Because they're, they're suspect in a lot of areas. Because of that, those huge payrolls for those four or five guys. Well, once you switch to a more defensive style of hockey and you shut guys down. Yeah, then, you know, <laughs> once once the, the tight checking, like you said, yeah, yeah. same thing. Tight checking in the playoffs. We have a CeeDee Lamb black rookie from Illusions. Uh, CeeDee Lamb, star wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. $10 on the CeeDee Lamb black rookie card. Man, they sure don't like the Cowboys until they <laughs> oh, we were joking with the lady. She was walking in. Um, or the Giants. The Giants are worse. Oh, I don't know. They really, really dislike the Cowboys folks. We were having a kind of a joke conversation with the lady walking into the building. And we're like, how about those Cowboys? And she just like, she uh, dropped some really nasty words on us that I'm not allowed to say on the show tonight because my mom's watching. Uh, he wants to know, what problem does Detroit have, Brandon, with their team? Well, we're still really young. Our coaching is not all that great. They're not there And either. I'm not 100% sold on the goaltending. No, they're not there either. I mean, defensively, they're mediocre. What's wrong with Dylan Larkin? Right. Like, every time I every time I watch a game with Detroit, he's, he's laying on the ice with a head injury. He's hurt, yeah. Like, he's got a head injury. Head, I'm not talking like, oh, he pulled a hamstring. He's got a head injury. Yeah. That one went to Darcy. Nice claim, Darcy. 
I want the Toronto Maple Leafs to win for my family members that like the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'll be happy if the Wings just make the playoffs. Yeah, like I'm not rooting against them. That's not. What All I'm right, we're gonna throw up another auction. We have a lot of auctions tonight, so stay with us. Uh, what is that? Well, that's second we got half big implications show. tonight. We got uh, Detroit and Washington tonight. That's going to be a game for a uh, massive two points. So yeah. this is a crazy card that I found at the show, and I, I think it's cool. I don't know what it's from, if it's a custom or it's, what. It's a DC card. It says on the back. Yeah, it says DC Comics on the back. But he won Best Actor, Best Picture. I, I thought I just think it's it's like a refractor too. So it's the Joker. Dancing his way down the steps for DC. I've never seen this card before. We have $1 opening bid with $1, $1 bid increments on this card. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to throw 10 bucks on this one. Right? Type it in. Just type 10 and hit enter. Where do I do that? There's a number pad. So you go right here. Oh, don't worry about it. It's already at 10. I bid first, though. So yeah, Greg's got it at 10 right now. Greg's at 10. I have it at 10, folks. RB Allen's got it at 11. I'm willing to go 15. Type it in. Well, Greg, you're late. 25. Oh, wow, Brown, you still want it? No, I, my highest was 20. I'm out! I'm out, he says. My highest was 20, man. Uh, Roger Brown at 25. This card is it, really cool. It's cool, man. I, I was willing to go 20 bucks on it, for real. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, I wanted. I tried to trade Mike for it, but uh, he's being... Oh, fine. look at that, eh? That's a uh, good timing. What, hey, look at the timing on this. Corey... You obviously saw it. What did you think of Lady Gaga dressed up as Harley Quinn? She looks hot as Harley Quinn. <laughs> did she hide her penis? Uh, Twenty-five dollars to Roger Brown. Nice pickup, Roger. Yeah, that's a nice card, man. You're gonna like it. I'm kind of jealous. It's it's like a thick uh, jersey card size. It's one that Mike found that I was really interested in. Thank you. All right. What are we gonna do next? You tell us. Say, eh? you throw out what you want. Say baseball, uh, hockey. That's the next card coming up. You tell us what you want. And Corey, we'll go that route. Corey agrees. I think w WWE. WWE? All right, let me see what we got here. That was the first thing that came up? Yep. And then there's got a football after that, another WWE. Uh, Jess wants some Disney. Jess, it's coming. I was another just going to say, like, all right, let's let's do that one, Rob and let's got a do a little bit of basketball, not much. Uh, the show we're at in Philly it was mostly baseball and football. There was basketball there, but it's a predominantly base, baseball and football uh, show. With that being said, they had some cool cool stuff there, right? How was Connor Bedard Mania in Philly? It was non-existent. Non-existent. Right? Like they laugh, they didn't laugh about it. They 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 knew. No, they knew who he is. They know who he is and what's going on. All right, on. so we had a request for WWE, so we'll throw this one up first. It's a Kevin Nash Origins Auto. Is he big sexy? Yeah, big sexy. Okay. Uh, Kevin Nash, Origins Auto, is coming up first. So I'm not completely out of the loop. Here. I remember a few things. Well, let me get been, let me a, get a total time. here. Uh, $60 on the Kevin Nash Auto. And they called him Diesel as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, basketball. I don't know if we got any basketball. Is there basketball? I think there's one or two in there. I'll find it. I actually pulled a... Uh, Patrick pulled a really nice Wemby out of a hoops pack at... Uh, what was the restaurant we went to called? Ah, shit. Uh, where we had a bottle of souvenirs. I know what it's called. Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Patrick pulled the Wemby uh, variant. Uh, $60 on the Kevin Nash auto. 6 0. Yeah, I said, I told him, like, we're looking for a guy named Victor Wemby on it. Like, that's pretty easy to remember. And he goes, This one? No, and he's like, He looks through it and he's like, Ah, this is all I got. And then I look through it and there's like a Wemby in there. I'm like, Dude, look, this is the guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I it couldn't, wasn't I couldn't even, read his ridiculous name. It wasn't his regular rookie either. It's like a photo bearing or something. It's cool, man. Like, you pulled the best card out of the set. Uh, he, yeah. didn't, he didn't even know. No takers on the Kevin Nash. We'll set that one aside. And with the request, we have Disney. It is... So a lot of these Disney cards are actually uh, Japanese imports. So this is Tinkerbell Disney 100 Year Celebration. One dollar opening bid on the Tinker Bell with one dollar bid increments. And these, these, uh, these are can Disney I, card. These Disney cards are cool. Yeah, can I say they slightly resemble Pokemon? Is that a fair? Yes, a fair absolutely. Like, okay, and they are very cool. Yeah, I personally like the other style better with the silver ones. Did you do have bring? We do. We've got those too. Wait till you see those, folks. Those, are, in my opinion, those are really beautiful. Uh, these are cool too. They're more like along the Pokemon uh, style of cards. Uh, Darcy's at four. Jess came in at five. 
Uh, still plenty of time left. We got uh, over 30 seconds still. And Mike did require a large lot of these. If you, if you yeah, I do have a bunch of these. So if there's a character you're looking for, let me know. Yeah, let him know. I have about 10 of them coming up on the show tonight. Uh, I just love these cards. They're all different styles. They're refractors. They're they're cracked dice refractors. They're so cool. Uh, most of them are imports, so you won't see them around here that much. Some have Japanese writing on Some them. Some have Japanese writing on Similar them. Similar to Pokemon. Yep. Uh, what do you think? You have 100, 200 of these? I didn't buy that many of them. Like, no. <laughs> no. Uh, Ten dollars to Rob Stange is the is the high. Knowing Rob, he's probably high too. Come on, <laughs> Rob's it, my buddy. It's legal, man. I know it is. He loves it, man. If you're in pain, God bless you. All right. What are we gonna do now? I think he did have a Chippendale. I don't know if he's in the show, but I remember seeing. I do it. have a Chippendale. I do have a Chippendale. All right, another card up. Jared Goff. Uh, Panini Black. This is the card out of 35. There's only 35 copies of this card. A gorgeous card. The, the camera doesn't do it justice. We've got... Uh, where is this? I keep getting sidetracked. $25 on the Jer Jared Goff number to 35. Lions fans are pretty happy right now. Right? They, have a, they have a right to be. Like It's been a long time now. They suffered for a long time. I thought that when I was in Philly too. Like You look at these beautiful stadiums. They built these teams. And Darcy's gonna grab it. Pace one, yourself, one, Darcy. One Pace yourself. In, you know, fifty years. Yeah, it's sad, you know. And they're very passionate about it. Remember All right. How about some, how about some new hockey from the brand new SP game use for my boy B Buck if he's online. It is the Yarmer Yager. This card's a serial numbered out of two fifty two. It's the red variation. We got eighteen bucks, eighteen dollars on the Yarmer Yager. So, I can tell you that we've had, what, five or six cards from our comp contest so far? Something like that. So, he's not allowed to say anything. I'm not allowed to say anything. Uh, we're doing ten cards each. They, That's why the paperwork's getting flopped around a lot. Uh, whoever comes out on top tonight has bragging rights. We're not going to tell you what the cards were at the end, though. We'll tell you what our totals were. And we'll also tell you if any of the cards went unsold. Uh, I talked to Mike about this, and in a way, he has a little bit of an unfair. I don't want to start with this shit. He spent three times as much money as me, so he has three times more cards to pull from. And I, and the reason why he he does that is because he does this for a living. It's like a hobby for me, so I don't have. The, so what he's saying, the bankroll that he does. So it's so not, what it's he's not really saying. Fair, you know? I spent like twelve hundred dollars on cards. He right. spent like five six hundred dollars. Right. Okay, I get that. So I have twice as many cards to pull from. Right. But it's still your best. 10 cards that are are added to $100, okay? Just because I'm allowed to buy twice as many of you, like if you're if you're as good as me. Well, what, and I left a lot out just so it'd be close. Uh, what what actually sunk me is Mike <laughs> found a couple cards that were worth a, a lot of money on, on a good uh, discount. So All right, we got uh, Nick's, let me put this up. Nick might, Suzuki, SP Game Used, All-Star Jersey I'm not for $12. For it, and I'm just in touch with reality, dude, that's all. Like... When someone spends two grand and someone says spend six hundred, some the guy with two grand is gonna have the better hundred dollar selection. It's just reality. It's called mathematics. But I can tell you <laughs> you're a math teacher, right? Yeah. I can tell you Brandon and I but yes. Brandon and I were talking about before the show show started. Uh Frankie's got the Suzuki. Nice grab, Frankie. It's a cool card, nice jersey. Uh I can tell you that my cards didn't come to a hundred dollars. Either it was mine. like seventy eight dollars. Mine wasn't even that much at all. I just wanted these. I thought I would do best with these ten cards under one hundred dollars. So that's what I went with. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Same thing. He knows he's losing right I, now. I already conceded. Yeah. <laughs> he conceded. <laughs> conceded. Well, all I'm... right. So you guys want really cool Disney cards? This is another style of Disney cards that I bought. This card is fucking cool, man. So, this style of card, I don't know, do you guys know what Cracked Ice is? You know what Cracked Ice is. We've seen it, yep. So, this is a di this is definitely a Japanese import for Disney. Uh, it's the Disney 100 set from Schmars? Schmars? Anyways, it is Lilo and Stitch, but it's Cracked Ice, as you guys can see. Like, if you hold this in your hand, this card sparkles. So, Lilo and Stitch, $1 bid, $1 bid increments... This is awesome. Like Lilo and Stitch, one of the one of the top Disney uh, franchises right now in the last twenty years. Uh, it's actually older than that now. It eh? is. Yeah. Dad's saying pool. Have we been swearing? No. Did I swear? I don't think I swore yet. 
Sell the fuck down, old man. That's freaking BS, old man. Jess at 15. Jess is at 15 <laughs> on, the, on the... Uh, Good for Jess. She loves these Disney cards. Eh? Jess loves Disney. Yeah. So, Jess, you're going to have a good night. Stick no, with us. There hasn't been any pool hall, really, Dad. We're trying hard. So Patrick's you, not here. There's no language. No. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about uh, Carolina's chances? In the NHL? Yeah. I think they have a good shot. Yeah. Like, but I think they're a more balanced team than almost well, any Ooh, Joe. Mark Myers at $20 on this. But every year it seems like they just come up short. Your mama don't they, like they, it. Yeah. Like, they, they, can't, they can't. Well, how, how about I pull my ass out and show well, my, uh, think, hey? But. Mama don't like it, he says. $21 to Jess, and she got it in in time. If it sticks, she yep. did. That's an awesome grab, Jess. Congratulations. Send, uh, send your dad the picture of the eclipse that I sent you. The balls? <laughs> if dad seen did the you stuff, see that? If dad's seen some of the stuff that happened in a hotel room this weekend, you'd be disappointed. All right, Jess, I don't, I don't mean to bankrupt <laughs> you. Anyway, you know? <laughs> but we're back to the other design with a, a really cool Little Mermaid. Exact same format. $1 bid, $1 bid increment. Uh, I'll, I'll throw up a few Disney because you guys requested them. Uh, but yeah, these are really cool cards. Again, Disney 100th anniversary celebration with the Little Mermaid. When these first came out, five dollars for Mike they just or Mark. Sorry, what? absolutely exploded. Oh, they were crazy. I remember they were these, crazy. I remember seeing these online. like seven eight hundred dollars a box. Yeah, I remember seeing these online just like on Canada. for base cards. Yes, for base cards. Yes, you can pull like uh, it's like chromes and stuff like that. It. These cards were absolutely insane when they came out. And I haven't even put up the original set yet, the Lark Lorcan stuff. Uh, I do have a I do have those as well. I've got Don't forget that. Like I'm I'm going old school. We're You're going gonna see it later on. Friday. Oh yeah, that's the ones I like. Those are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till so, you see that card, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night, Dad. We love you. See if I'll talk to you tomorrow and I'll see you Friday probably. $10 to Mark Myers, if 15 to Greg Lucio with five seconds left. Uncle Brian. Uncle Brian with the high bid right now. Got it. It's gone. Well, Mark's a little bit late there. Nice. Uncle Brian, you got her at the, or uh, you avoided tragedy at the last second. Nice pickup. Let's go back there. Let's switch it up a little bit. We're getting a little bit too much into that. We got lots to go, folks. How about some Team Canada stuff with Haley Wickenheiser, the arguably be the greatest uh, female hockey player of all time, but she's gonna kind of get surpassed, right? Because it's like, well, I'll give you the price here. This is the Haley Wickenheiser. This is the uh, Canada SP from Tim Hortons, world's best. Forty dollars on the Haley Wickenheiser, uh, four zero. So, uh, what I'm saying is that she's the greatest of all time until the next person, and it, it happens in every. Carolina. Who's the girl now? Or what's the girl's name now? No, there's there's going to be a female hockey player come along there's that just blows now. away all of them. Uh... What's the lady now that's won the three gold medals? She scored the gold. Yeah, yeah, Lulette. Yeah. Caroline Lulette. Yeah, she's yeah. You could put you could say arguably she's better already. Is that her name, Caroline Lulette? I think so. There's uh, Marie Philippe Poulin. That's who I'm talking. Poulin, about. Poulin yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. She's she's the Wayne Gretzky of hockey already. That but they haven't had enough Olympics yet for her to surpass no. her gold medals and no. stuff like she's that. She's won three. Well, I thought Poulin. I thought Wickenheiser had the most. Wickenheiser no. has. I think but Poulin has like two or three game, gold winning goals too, I believe. Yeah, she's yeah. got more game winners than Yeah. Uh, I don't know exactly. But you Alright, well screw Haley Wickenheiser. No, Throw both, in the fucking trash then. They're both definitely on the on the Mount Rushmore women's hockey. Probably with uh Cammy Granado and uh Angela James. I think How about my good. Red Wings fans? We got a nice uh is this Pacific Vanguard or Panini? I think it's Pacific. I don't back know if she's day. a doctor. Who's BT or her? That's Red. Brett, I don't know if she's a doctor, Brett, or like a physician. Quit knocking this. Th you're going to knock that painting over. Therapist. You're going to get fired. But she, yeah, she, that, she is in the medical Just pull field. the bottom. I did see a special about that. You might be right, though. Pull it down? No, yeah, just he's knocking it all over the place. I'll, yeah. sit, I'll just sit up. All right, so we've got this uh, Steve Eisman insert for Vanguard. It is Pacific or Panini. I can't remember. $14 for the In Focus Steve Eisman. That's really? My, that's my doorbell. Really? Alan's got pizza coming. <laughs> Speaking of pizza, I'll switch out the wings for that. Yeah. Alan ordered pizza. Just give me one of each kind of thing. You want some pizza? There's, I'll get There's some four different, types. four different types. Yeah. Here, you want some wings? No, I'll get some later. Can you just hold those? Sure. Like I want to hold chicken wings all night. That's yeah, do it. All right. Cool. That's what that's what the, the the wise man does. You're the wing man. The wing man. Literally. Shaggy's the wing man. 
They did a nice tribute. I haven't seen it yet for Bray Wyatt at. Uh, I've literally been home for like less than twenty four hours. At SmackDown and then at uh, WrestleMania as well. Before the what's it really called? The American Express. Come U.S. Is, U.S. US Express. Express. <laughs> yeah, they come out on the stage as they announced uh, the Hall of Famers and they did a tribute at WrestleMania. Just a question: If you watch the Hall of Fame ceremony, who was the best? Can I answer? No. Nope. Let them answer first. We'll give ours I just left. want to say one thing. I, I was going to mention this at the start of the show. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to thank God and Jesus and a lot of good people around here. Because without all those people, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Settle down, Thunderbolt. Yeah, Thunderbolt. <laughs> Did you see Thunderbolt? No. Oh, man. You got Unreal, on. dude. What is that? Uh, the speech that Thunderbolt Patterson gave where he kept saying the same thing six times. Uh, it was unbelievable. <laughs> No, Brandon, like, <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson, easily. Yeah, it was hilarious, man. There were people chanting for Thunderbolt during The Rock, okay? Like, that was the best part of the whole weekend, as far as I'm We concerned. want Thunderbolt chants broke out during The Rock's speech for his grandmother. Frankie's uh, hungry, apparently. Uh, apparently about a Gretzky rookie and starving to death and having to force him to eat Mr. Noodles. All right, time next. To, time where, to where, are we going? where are we Frank? going here? we got so many cards on the go. Uh, let's... Let's finish off this little section here. So, now's your chance to show your love. It is the Cody Rhodes uh, Phoenix autograph, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes uh, Panini Redemption. $145 on the Cody Rhodes Redemption card. Man, it's the American Nightmare, the new champ. People love him. And his dog, too. Feral. Like, like the Egyptians, right? It's a cool name. I prefer Hank, but I wonder if my dogs are watching. Probably. If they are, I just want to say hi to Hank and Alan. Like, Alon. Alon. What's going on, fellas? Yeah, we never really got a legit cheese, oh. cheese steak, eh? We also have a pack of SP game news getting ripped tonight at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. sharp. Uh, Terry purchased a pack of game use. He wants us to rip it live on the air for him. We're going to do that at 9 p.m. Is that already on the list? It's right. It's over here somewhere. Oh, is it on the list? Good luck, Terry. No. Oh, it's right there. You've been lifting? <laughs> yeah. You look good, bro. Okay. All right, Yuri Slavkowski. I told you guys about this guy. They're saying since the All-Star break, that's one of the top uh, lines in the NHL. I think it's fourth, statistically. Uh, you got Caulfield, Suzuki, and Slaff. Imagine how good they'd be if Caulfield didn't shoot the puck six feet wide every time. Uh, so we have the Slavkowski insert from uh, Opeachy Platinum for six dollars. It is a rookie insert for six dollars. See, we rip on the Habs too. Like we're not, we're not partial, you know. Who was it that's got the game used? Terry. I don't know about it. They already paid. Oh, okay. Anybody get a chance to check out the basketball game last night? Frankie, it's six bucks. Which one? Uh, the championship, national championship. Oh, I saw UConn win. Yeah, yeah Iowa. Oh, UConn put the boots to him, eh? I just looked into. It. We got home early enough. I could see the second half. They uh, won by fifteen. Yeah, they. Was they it, it wasn't. It wasn't really. There was no. It wasn't really in contest in the second half. I tuned in with the boat. Oh minutes. shit! Montreal's playing right now. Slap's got a goal tonight. He's good, man. He's good. Something the NHL doesn't have a whole lot of that kind of power forward. We've got the Bobichet Bean Team from Stadium Club, or sorry, Teams Future. I thought it was a Bean Team. I don't know why I wrote that down. Uh, we got eight bucks on the Bobichet insert. Is this a rookie insert? I know it's from last year. I oh no. Two th oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. No, it's not. I believe it's from last year, two thousand twenty-two. His rookie year is twenty twenty. That peach is good, man. I would say, luckily or unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to uh, try a, a real legit cheesecake cheesesteak while we were there, because downtown was so busy and hectic that uh, we couldn't find parking where they recommended we went. So we did miss out in that fashion, but still, like, not, not too many complaints. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever traveled with Mike, but there's, there's lots of food to go around. You don't start with that fast All right, note of the Bichette. This is an amazing card from the uh, an older version of SP Game Use. These are the types of cards you can pull in there. SP Game Use Supreme Patches. 
Uh, this is numbered out of 15. Beautiful, like, five-color uh, Ryan Getzlaff for $65. Who's your favorite snack you had on the trip? The pretzel. What, which one? The big one? That Was that WrestleMania? Like the or WD World. Doesn't matter. The Thunder Stick? Yeah. See, I didn't know uh, Philly's famous for pretzels, right? It's oh. one, it's, yeah, it's, Beth told me that. When you when you Google what Philly's famous for, it's the cheese steak, the cheesecake, and pretzels. What's a Thunder Stick cost? Twelve bucks? I don't. Well, I don't think it was like eight or twelve. Yeah. So it's a pretzel, pro approximately twelve inches long, and the diameter of a. I don't know. My cock. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can, see. I knew that was this is why my parents get upset, and I'm glad it wasn't me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, no, it was huge. It was I would huge. say. I think he whispered that low. I would say. Uh, like three quarter, three quarters the size of like a. Almost the size. Weekend, of, almost, yeah, almost of a roll. Uh, what do you call it? Almost like almost the a, size of a. Of a pop can around, really, very close. Like it's seventy five, eighty percent. My my first the girth. <laughs> yeah, well, super girthy. Yeah, but they were massive. Yeah, and like a foot long, right? But the it, they're so serious about it. They have like five or six different things they dip in there, like a honey mustard, a hot mustard, a dill dip, like all you know cheese. All these. <laughs> That's right, Brandon. I agree. I got smucked in the head with that guy's pretzel. No, all no, night. because I felt the thump and then. And then he spilt. No, I honey mustard all over the back of my hair. <laughs> I felt the thump. And then hey, what the, do you guys think of the new hairdo, by the way? And then the thump I went thump. full, like, Triple H for this, man. There was three thumps there, Brando. Like, it was not a pretzel. <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> and as soon as I do want to point, like, I do want to point I out. I said, this mother flipper just <laughs> shawong banged me in the back of the head. <laughs> shawong banged. Like, really? I, I do want to point out. That I what it, what, I'll tell this story after 8 p.m. When the little kids go to bed. All right, we got a Ray Lewis <laughs> Canton cloth, okay? This is a Hall of Fame uh, patch for Ray Lewis. It's two colors. It's purple and black. It is numbered out of 80. Uh, we've got uh, 18 bucks on the Ray Lewis Hall of Fame patch. So I said to Mike, like, Mike, this guy just did this to me, right? And he's like, Greg, he's done that to me three times. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> I felt violated. Well, that's because that's because Mike was reaching back and taking. I, I don't know. I felt violated the first time. I couldn't imagine going through three that times. three times. Like, that's PTSD. First up, first time, shame on you. Second time, third like, time, I, shame maybe on Maybe he liked it. You know, <laughs> you let that happen to you three times, you gotta enjoy it a little bit. Because I was angry after the first time. I'll be honest. With Did you. he giggle when he told you? That was the third time. <laughs> no, <laughs> but now that I think about it, that's not really disturbing. He had a smile on his face. <laughs> He did that to me three times. Like, All right, back to the vintage for Dale. Or others, you can buy it too. You have the 1959 Larry Regan Parkers for $24. That's good, man. I don't know what that was, but that's good. How many that's, just, think, that's just pepperoni. Just pepperoni. That's good, man. How many uh, cards are in that set? Because Dale's got to be close to collecting that entire set, don't you think? Well, he's got the loose. Like clockwork. All right. You're a little chunky. What are these called? That's uh, 92, 93 Bowman Foil. It is OG Pizza. I forgot to give him a shout out. It's it's really good tonight. This set was a major, major set when it came out, man. It was highly sought after. I remember as a kid. So the gold foil Wayne Gretzky from 92, 93 Bowman, $16 on this card. Uh, when I was a kid, that was like a dream card for me. Like, well, not for me, but for people. You know, That's how rare these cards were. You remember these? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So 92, 93, I would have been about, what, 17 years old? Frankie's going to grab it. Corey asks if uh, Tiger makes the cut at the Masters. I'm saying yes. I'm going to go with a no. Not that I, 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 I just don't know. Just argue with Brandon. Basically. I think he'll make the cut. All right, one of the new Leafs. We got Frazier Minton. $1 opening bid, $1 bid increments on this. Is that a repeat? Oh, what, is there, is oh it, rookie. Is it a uh, French variant, or do they do that on all of them? No, it's regular. Oh, okay. You just see the, the French on there. And this is like Beat Lovers, then? The other one? Yep. Sausage and... There is a rocket, there's a rocket fuel in there. Yeah, I gave it to you. 
It's on the it's kind of bummed out we didn't find any of that prime, eh? We should have walked around the stadium. You can get it, Joe. You want the Cody Auto? I'm here to sell cards, man. Did you see what the prime bottles are selling for? No. Do you see what the programs are selling for? I'm I checked today. The Paul Heyman shirt sells for 100 bucks online. I want a US. Cut. I want a cut of that program. You still owe me for that. What, uh... The program from WrestleMania? WrestleMania. Yeah, they're, they're fucking they're gorgeous, man. How much were they? I paid 20 for, bucks a piece. 20 bucks a piece. And they're selling for 75 online. I tried to oh, sell... Wow. You know what? I tried to sell one uh, on the way home for 50 bucks and no one would buy it. Because I could have bought 100 of them. Who got that? Joe Strong? Joe Strong. Yeah, they're beautiful books. It's like a... Uh, and then Greg got the... Uh, Frazier at 10? Yeah. And what makes them so good? Well, it's... It's, it's huge. It's yeah, like 11 it's, and a half by... It's oh, like nice. a... by 14. Okay. And it's like the history of WrestleMania for 40 years. Yeah, it's got every part... And then the back, picture. you fl- The back's upside down. You it's, flip it. It's reversed. Yeah. It's... It, no, it's the Hall of Fame section. Yeah, but it's a reverse. And it's got of pictures of every single Hall of Famer. It's unreal. Did yes. they put uh, Brock Lesnar in it? Because... Uh, uh, he's all over it. Aren't they upset with Brock Lesnar? No, he's... And Vince is in it, too. Oh, really? No, it's a, well, I can it's see a, why Vince it's a gorgeous. It's frame worthy. Like you could cut the Hall of Fame and, and the advertisements out of it and frame them and sell. All right, this is a beautiful card for anybody that loves baseball. Uh, I think he just got in the Hall of Fame, Dale Murphy. We have the Dale Murphy Black uh, Top Chrome Black autograph on card for forty five dollars. This is a gorgeous card. Is your hatred for the Atlanta Braves as bad as it was when you were an Expos fan? No, I don't care anymore. No, me neither. I used to really dislike them though. Oh, well, seriously, because they beat us every year. Yeah. yeah. I hated the Braves. I think, uh, I was telling Mike, I think Akun is underrated. If that's even possible. Underrated? Yes. Everyone will tell about Otani, right? Like, think about what that guy did. He hit 40 home runs and stole 70 bases. That's insane. Like, you gotta you gotta put him in the top top two, one or two of all the baseball. Give me three, four months to work out, Greg. I'd probably do the same. Yeah, well, that's because you're a <laughs> superhuman. Like, well, you, I am the... Final boss, yeah. 40 70 is crazy numbers. Yeet! <laughs> That's, That's right. what I looked for all week, and we couldn't find the glasses. The yeet glasses, yeah. I looked all over the stadium. They just were not available for purchase. You guys see ever. Jay's new glasses say yeet on them? They don't sell them. They are cool, though. Yeah. I was going to sit in the crowd with my... We both had... We mad, We had matching Hulkamania shirts on. Said 40 years of Hulkamania. On, pur- on purpose. On purpose, so it was easy to see us. Yeah, so we could find each other in the crowd if need be. So we had these matching Hulkamania t-shirts on. We wore them both nights. Trust me, we didn't sweat in them because they were the third piece of clothing on top. Yeah, we froze to death. It went like... So yeah. I had an undershirt on, a t-shirt, my Bucky's windbreaker, and then a Hulkamania shirt, and I was still frozen. Yep. Unreal. Patrick looked at me at one point, and he looked up, and he's like, with these uh, big puppy dog eyes, and he's like, I'm cold, Dad. And I was like, no S-H-I-T, I'm cool too, buddy. <laughs> like, come closer and let's try to... All right, one for the graded fans here. We got the Jordan Tribute. Sorry, I can't get that any higher. It's the Michael Jordan Tribute PSA 9 from the 1998 Upper Deck Jordan Tribute set, The Reflections. Uh, we've got uh, 30 bucks on... The, or Sorry, $28 on the Michael Jordan Reflections PSA 9 from Upper Deck. $28 on a PSA 9 Jordan. That's what happens when everybody sent every single Jordan ever printed into PSA. Yeah. He is one of the better basketball players that ever lived. Yeah, he's okay. He's yeah. no good. Yeah. Yeah. Underrated. Jeff yeah. Burns going to grab it. Or Bernie, sorry. That's a bonus card, man. That wasn't in the 100. I just want to get through them because they're sitting over here bothering me. All right, from a company called HGA. They are a popular company now because they, everybody likes their holders. Uh, we've got the Tom Brady HGA 9. It is a prism silver. Or sorry, a mos- sorry. Oh, God. Mosaic silver. I apologize for that. It came out of nowhere. Whew. Remember I had to poop at McDonald's you yesterday? Medical, that was rough, You have a medical condition. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> The guy poops a lot. You don't apologize for that medical card. Brady HGA 9 Silver for $30. It costs as much as a grade the card. You get the card for free. They, people like it because they'll do the label any color you want, eh? And so people color match the label to the card, kind of, sort of. Pretty cool. Yeah. Do you see the new holders are coming out with that? The, the, the super high, high-tech high ones that are, like, they got the little thing on the bottom. You can scan them. Is it Tag? Yeah, I don't know. Them, yeah, Tag's... I know, I know the owner of Tag. Yeah. That's a new big thing, I think. 
It's hard. It's hard to break through it, it with market share with a company like PSA. Like they literally grade ninety percent of the cards in the world. I understand that, but you got. They're be, the Coca Cola of you gotta grading. Be, you got to be fed up with them, though. Why? Well, because they're the only ones making any money. Well, I, I get that, but I'm just, I'm whatever. All right, you Bernie boys. <laughs> You guys pulled the Mario Lemieux. This is from SP Game Use. These are awesome cards. Uh, these are the all-star jerseys. They pulled the Lemieux. It was fucking... It was such a sweet card. Number 66 out of 100. Nice, man. That's so I've been looking get. these up. And these cards are insanely expensive. Like, they are very hard to pull. Uh, the the Berdur is not his jersey number, but it is numbered out of 100 as well. We have $45 on the jersey for Berdur. Uh, I'm looking at the Bernie boys for this one. Because if they want to build that set, they're pretty cool cards. Tough though, tough pulls. I seen the auger sell for like sixty five bucks the other day. One color. Good cards. Marty was a pretty good goalie. Wouldn't have been my first choice. Nope. He was boring. He got the job done. Chris Hoskins was boring too, but he won a few Stanley Cups. Wizard of Oz, Brando. Hey, he should be in the Hall of Fame. Well, of course he should. He had should, 300 wins, man. Should be in the Hall of Fame. That's the gold standard, right? That's that's what I mean. He's not a lot. A lot of people argue Hasek. Uh, he wasn't, Hasek wasn't the guy for All me. right, I'm getting rid of this now. One sheet is done. That's a good sign. My Barnaby said that last week, that Hasek was the greatest goalie of, of all time, and it wasn't even close. Not that Matthew Barnaby hit is the, well, no. <laughs> all right, we're going to try some different stuff again. All in, all in. <laughs> I waited for the Bernie boys for this, too, because I think this is an absolutely cool card. Uh, they like the Goodwin Champions stuff. So here we go. It is the Museum Collection from Goodwin Champions Space Relics. So this piece of memorabilia actually was in outer space. Uh, it's part of the... I can't... Something... Uh, one of the satellites or something like that. It's hard to read. Can you read it, Brando? Yeah. ST560s1A. Global low orbiting message relay satellite. There you go. Just want to throw it out there. You may or may not get cancer from this card. We're not Because <laughs> we don't know what's in it, folks. They called it Glomer. But it comes Glomer? From, it comes from outer space, okay? so This was in outer space, which is extremely rare. Of course. Uh, we got $30 on the space relic. This is another card I tried to trade Mike for. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it said anything. Frankie thinks we're funny. What time do we talk about the lady of the night? Shut what? up. What? Is, is it after 8 p.m.? It's no, it's only said 7.59. Oh. We met a nice lady at a gas oh, station. Oh, fucking stop! <laughs> He's working on getting kicked out of here. I've been banned from YouTube before, folks. All right, nice card coming up. Vladimir Guerrero. Who's this? Tops or uh, Tops Pristine? Tops Pristine Popular Demand Jersey Autograph on Card Auto. We got one hundred and twenty dollars on the auto. I talk about that story, Greg. Oh, that is my story. It is his story. She, he met her first. I think Pristine are beautiful cards. Uh, my own personal opinion. I like the refractors. I keep a lot of the Tigers, like Ty Cobb, and uh, I think I have uh, some Trammel stuff. Couple baby moves. Uh, I have a Jackie Robinson refractor. Some of them come encased, eh? Oh, yeah. I have some that are encased. I like the cards. Did you buy them individually, or did you I, pick I, them up as those, like, singles? No, I usually buy most of my cards individually or yeah. buy a collection and yeah. whatever is part of it, right? But I am fond of the pristine design, and the, especially that they include the uh, Hall of Famers. Where's Andy Carla? I don't know. I haven't heard from her in a week because we we're gone. Did she fall down the elevator shaft again? <laughs> she mad at you? No, probably. She doesn't fall down the shaft. Her phones fall down the shaft. All right, where's my NASCAR fans at? This is probably our nicest NASCAR card of the night. It is Brad Kozlowski out of 20. Or, sorry. Uh, Frankie took the Brady. Or the Brady, sorry. Out of 25, Brad Kozlowski. Whatever. I don't know how to say his name. He drives NASCAR. What's it matter? Frankie took that. Keselowski? 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 What, Keselowski. what Brady? He the, wants the uh, uh, graded Brady. Graded? The prism. Alright, so this is out of 25 from a product that literally cost 
an insane amount. It's National Treasures. It is a triple memorabilia. It's got fire suit, tire, all kinds of shit going on. Everything that makes you everything that makes you want to watch wrestling. Makes you or, go vroom, vroom. Yeah, vroom vroom. Yeah. It's thirty dollars for the Keselowski. Did Where you is that? like his gifts? Oh yeah. Yeah. He was awesome. dressed as Roman Reigns today. So he yeah. sent me a picture. Yeah. I'll show you in a second. That's awesome, man. Patrick, Frank, you got it. Patrick traded Frank his the, his Roman Reigns. Uh, Patrick traded his Roman Reigns gear to Uncle Mike. And uh, for Nova. Jay wants to know how much a final boss shirt costs. Forty bucks U.S. Yeah, forty U.S. You guys can't really see my shirt, but I'm actually wearing the Roman Reigns shirt. What's it say on it? Philly, Philly acknowledge me. Philly acknowledge me. There it is. It's got the bell on there. I'm shocked nobody got this Kislowski. There's no NASCAR fans watching. I All right, know. beautiful autograph right now of Big Sess, Cecil Fielder. Big Daddy Sess. Big Daddy, it's museum collection, archival autographs, beautiful uh, silver Sharpie on this card. I'm shocked what his autos are going for now. Like, they're going up, like, steadily. Well, like... So we got 50 bucks on the Cecil Fielder auto. First, the first thing I think of when I look at it is it's an absolutely beautiful autograph. Like, come on. Uh, a lot of guys don't put that kind of effort into it, so that's that's a huge bonus, to be honest. Don't you think, Brando? I think the picture's yeah, awesome on it. Don't you think he's got a really cool autograph? All the circles and swoops? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some guys don't put that kind of effort in. So no, I mean, no, like that, just lines. you got to take that into account. Like, that's pretty That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not 100% legible, but there's some form and function to it, obviously. The new guys, they just, if their name starts with an R, it's, they just scribble an R and that's it, you know. Frankie, it's yours for the taking, man. Yeah, you don't run into this guy's autograph too often. He's he's often forgotten in a lot of sets. Because he's regional in a way, you know, like. Alright, no takers on the Cecil. Alright, up for auction. Check this out. Here we go with the lines again. Can you we see got it? the Sam Laporta optic rated rookie. What's this? Green and red? It's they call it a red green, yeah. Red green. One dollar opening bid, one dollar bid uh, increments. This guy, didn't he set a record for a tight end uh, receiving or something? He's got the tightest end, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is after 8 o'clock. But I still haven't uh, embarrassed my parents yet. I'm working on it. Jay Deneau opens up at 5. Uh, he's probably going to be one of the top tight ends in the league for a few years. See, I guess Kittle's a huge wrestling fan, eh? He, yeah, he, he's been he, in he, WrestleMania, too. He was there with his dad, they said. Frankie Byrne, 10 bucks is the high bid right now. So he was watching Freakside with his dad. Remember, he, they booed him twice? Yeah. Brandon Lovis coming in at 12. There's drinks in my car, eh? There are coolers out there. Uh, do, do you we, need any? Do we have a drink break? No, but we can get some. Drink break. Is that guy from the stadium going to bring him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Matt McLean gets it at 13 bucks. Got in there again. Matt's got two now. We had special delivery from this guy that was working backstage at WrestleMania. I will tell the story. Oh, I don't get to tell you the story. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> that was Matt McLean. We're gonna take a let's let's uh, do a little switch up here. A little switcheroos. That was little Matt McLean, right? Yeah, Matt McLean. A little switcheroos. All right. We've got Spencer Horwitz, first Bowman Toronto Blue Jays autograph, twenty five dollars. This guy is one of their, uh, I think he's one of their top rookies this year. What's the other guy's name? Uh, Horowitz and... Uh, Barry Horowitz? No, that's... Do you know the other, Jay's other rookie? He's no. the guy with the mustache. Is it... Uh, sp uh, oh, like Schneider. Yeah, Schneider. He's the other big rookie. This is the, the other, the second rookie. $25 on Spencer Horowitz. Frankie Byrne. Bernie. Nice card, Frankie. He's one of the Jays' top prospects. All right. You guys want some non-sport? I got a pretty cool non-sport card for you. You want to see it? I'll show it. From Spider-Man Homecoming. Who played Spider-Man in that one? Tom in, Holland. Is Tom Holland? Yeah. He's my favorite. We have the Spider-Man and Mac Gargan. Who's Mac Gargan? The guy from... Uh, I think he was in Breaking Bad, and uh, he was the bad guy in Good Girls. I have no idea what character he played. I don't know that guy either. Yeah, Anyways, no but it doesn't matter. Spider-Man's on this card. 
So it is authentic uh, memorabilia from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. It is Spider-Man, and who, am, who I'm assuming is one of the bad guys. Uh, two relic pieces. <coughs> we have $1 opening bid with $1 bid increments. Can you start it over? Because yep. I, I didn't get it out until like 40 seconds left. All right, so up for bid, the Spider-Man dual memorabilia card. The webbed threads. The guy you got this from, he had some really cool non-sport stuff, right? Got Rowdy, five, five, two, five, Frankie Byrne, Jeff Bernie's got 15 bucks already. Nice. I got some really cool, cool old wrestling off that guy. Like the old tops, red, white, and blue stuff. For the Bubski. Couple Hulksters. Patrick's in the crest collecting wrestling cards now. Oh, yeah? So we're trying to Still got up. 30 seconds left. The current high is $15 from Jeff Bernie. Who do you think of those custom cards you got? They're cool. I should have brought them to you just so you could show them. Yeah, that was pretty cool. This guy painted these uh, Pokemon. The one was Undertaker and the one was Macho Man. But the backs were like Pokemon. Okay. So he just painted over the front, basically. And he had like, so, experience and all that and PowerPoints. And, okay. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, tonight's gonna be totally different, man. Like we we bought everything at this show. Yeah, Frankie, we tried to get like a real di diverse selection. Fifteen dollars to Jeff Bernie. Oh, sorry, Brandon. No, Brandon came in late. I heard the beep. It's Jeff. Yeah, Jeff got that at fifteen. I think. If I'm wrong, correct me because I don't have my headset on. But uh, I did hear the beep, and then I looked up, and Brandon was on there. All right, we'll do one more from this section. What do you think of this? This is cool. What is this? Econo Thief? What's that mean? I have no idea. Was that his nickname or something? No clue. Econo Thief? No clue. It is the Josh Donaldson. Okay, we've never had any Josh Donaldson uh, Blue Jays stuff on the show before that I know of. We've got Batista. Batista. Delgado. Joe yeah. Carter. Those guys. But yeah, I don't think we've ever had Donaldson. And he's he's a huge, hit, not huge a lot fan of, not favorite. Not a lot of Jays Donaldson. Number to 18 from Topps Triple Threads with the Bat Relic. The entire, this is all Bat pieces in here. Autographed out of 18. Josh Donaldson, Bat Auto for $28. Is he still playing? He just retired. He just retired, did, did yeah. he? He didn't make the opening day roster and he called it quits. Was yeah. he still with the Yankees? Yeah, he was a Yankee, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah he, had so good, he had a good career. Of course he did. Won, what, how many gold gloves? Rowdy Walker is going to take it. Nice claim. Nice pickup, Rowdy. All right. Switch it up again. Find something cool. Yeah, the ringer of rain. That's right, Kevin. All right. You guys want some Disney again? Because the Disney went crazy there for a minute. We've got another cracked ice Japanese import of one of the most popular Disney characters of all time. I, I think they're going to go nuts for this. Mickey Mouse. Nope. I, they didn't... The only, there's only two cards they didn't have. Mickey Mouse is one. Mickey Mouse and I think Minnie Mouse. Like that, there, yeah, actually, yeah. there was some Minnie Mouse, but Mickey Mouse, nobody had any. He's the top seller, right? Donald Duck? One more try. Is it... Uh, Goofy. Winnie the Pooh. Okay. With the Winnie the Pooh. Uh, cracked ice... That's a uh, nice looking Japanese card. import That's 100th really anniversary. Nice it's gorgeous, man. That's a really cool looking card. Yeah, one dollar bid increment with one dollar uh, <laughs> opening bid. Do you ever hear the sto the uh, theory that uh, Winnie the Pooh's a uh, depression? Well, the guy that has depression. Yeah, yeah. and they're all Eeyore. Yeah, they're all his different uh, uh, split personalities. His moods. Yeah, like uh, they do it. They do it nowadays, but they call it what's the new movie with all the different anger and uh, Inside Out. Inside Out. Yeah, yeah. we got ten dollars to Jess Toll. Is she came in just before you, Frankie? But I don't know if you guys can see this or not. When you see this up close, it's got the cracked ice all over the entire card. You might want to hang on there, uh, Brett. There might be some goofy appearance tonight. I tried to buy it off him, but he was a... Uh, uh, Mark Myers at 15. Is this the one you're finally going to get, Mark? You've tried to get a few of them. Would, would Patrick call you a poo poo cucky head? Or poo poo cucky head. Yeah, poo poo cucky head. Poo -poo -cucky. I kept calling that all the whole time. <laughs> you're poopy cucky head. Yeah. Poopy cucky head. That's how we swear now, Dad. Poopy cucky head. You're a poopy cock ahead off the mic. 16 to Jess Toll with less than five seconds left. Nice. Just got it. 
Jess finally got the poo. Jess has got some timing. Jess has the poos. I think that's her second one, is it not, tonight? Second Disney card? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think, think so. she got one I earlier. I think she got an early one earlier. She missed out on the aerial. All right, we'll do a couple more here. You guys want more variety? Check this out. Man, this is This, this is, is the cool. one of the coolest cards I bought. It's one of like, the coolest cards ever. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. I'll get it close up on the patch. It's two colors. It's folks. it's like three or four colors. There's brown, gray, black in there. I, I don't know how to put this politely, so I'm just going to throw it out there. There are rumors that this could be from his pubic area, folks. Uh, Facebook is delayed. That's, That's you, not you gotta us. reboot it, man. That is not us. We're running at 100 oh, percent right yeah. now. It happens to so be. the Ewok relic card. Okay. E this is authentic Ewok fur from the Return of the Jedi movie. So this came from one of the costumes that was worn in the movie. It really truly is, folks. $120 from a, a legendary movie prop relic Ewok fur. From what I saw online, that's a bit of a discount. Uh, <laughs> well, we looked it up and there's some crazy prices on eBay. I know that. But that's for Wicket and like the guys that yeah, had actual it's names. It's not confirmed sales, but this you can't you can't overstate how rare this card is. Uh, and it is two colors, and it is rumored to be from the crotch area of the Ewok. Or region. the inner butthole area. <laughs> yeah. The inner butthole. Let's, that, let's just say, well, they have big asses, eh? Well, it doesn't smell very good. That's let's just say they had to comb the feces out of this before they put it into the car. <laughs> and they're not even sure it was his feces. Yeah. Like, they're pretty crazy little individuals. It could have been, could have come from Chewbacca. He was known for taking a dump on an Ewok from time to time. We got we got Ewok fur for one twenty if you want it. Yeah, and you might think that's a crazy price. But it's it, not. It's not. It really isn't. Believe it or not. Yeah, we laughed when we looked it up coming home. Like it was, uh, it it gave us a good chuckle on the road. No one's gonna buy my Ewok fur. That's cool. Maybe I'm one day I can pry that out of Mike's hands. All right, know. here we go. One more, from a totally different set. Disney tops Chrome this time. 100th anniversary of Disney Tops Chrome. We have Bambi. Yeah, it's gonna. If there's any women watching right now, yeah. they're going nuts for it. Yeah, this 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 is just this is the card that I like, folks. The Tops Chrome. I think these cards are absolutely gorgeous. One dollar bid increment. One dollar uh, opening fee. I'm definitely not a Disney fan. That goes without saying. But just the way the cards, the design. I've been collecting cards for a long time. And they're real nice looking cards. Mark Myers is not missing. <laughs> he threw bucks. 20 bucks right off the bat. Yeah. Jess, he's already at 20. I want. I, want I think that one actually is better than the yeah, other ones. Absolutely. The only no, one, no, I, no. Think, no, the no, one no. I think rivals that one is the aerial one that we've seen, that cartoon one. Just wait. I, that, just, just wait. Just the clarity of the... These have refractors, do they? Yeah, those are, those are super nice. They're beautiful, eh? I saw the Pinocchio to this. I think Mark I, killed the bids. He <laughs> just threw out 20. <laughs> That's what we call a flop. He flopped it he down flopped on the table. On the table like, that's like, yeah, that's like when you go in, right? There it is, Mark. I talk. I, so I don't know why that you're putting smiley faces, Frankie. Like my wife literally hates me doing this show because forty percent of our watchers are female. He does. He does get a lot of panties and such in the mail. I've heard. So <laughs> unaddressed envelopes. Like <laughs> I'm getting like. Uh, he, thonk, might, the thonk, thonk, thonk. he might be slightly <laughs> delusional as well. Yeah. But I, I said, I've said it numerous times that I'm kind of a sex symbol on here, like as far as sports cards go. And it's not that I'm like the most handsome guy. I'd give myself a solid 9.7 out of 10. But modesty. It's modesty, yeah. It's good. Women with beards. <laughs> Why, has your mom been watching? Ooh. Ooh. All right, so you, you can't say that because maybe his mom's passed. But he, he has to appreciate the joke. Maybe you know mom, what I mean? Maybe his mom is watching. Maybe she's watching, yeah. But uh, I'm just saying, 40% of your clientele, 40% of your watcher are females. And I'm telling you right now, they don't do a lot of bidding. So what are they doing? They're just checking me out, folks. I'm just saying. Who got that? That went to Mark. You have a lot of really interesting theories, Mike. The show is not in Braille. You know, the prop train just looking at you with the goofy eyes, man. You're like, this guy's crazy. I like you, man, but you're crazy. Who got that? That was Mark Myers. You guys keep it up and no more Disney cards. Oh, that's tough, man. 
Well, how would you? Do, why would you do that to yourself? No, I don't care. The <laughs> money see, doesn't. I'll take a loss. Just I want to see what's coming up. The I money doesn't matter at this at this point. <laughs> I like the Bambi one, and you. No like, more no, cards. No, you don't like the Bambi one. You're gonna like the next one, or whatever the next one is that you have coming up. You want me to find one? Oh, that is so nice, man. I just. See, I, I like that design too. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Yep. I, I picked out all my favorite characters. That's like a cool all, card. That, I, that card, ladies and gentlemen, when you see that one, you're probably really going to like it. I think it's the, one of the best ones. I don't, I'll throw this one up right now. I'll throw it up right now because it's a different design. Yeah. This it, is, again, Disney 100th anniversary. This is 100% Japanese import. It's got the... It's on the back. It's in Japanese. Uh... This is an iconic character. Iconic character, like uh, old school. Like I like the old school characters, right? Yep. I like to get some Robin Hood cards because that's what Patrick. So was look doing. at this Dumbo. It is the cutest thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> one dollar opening bid, one dollar bid increment. I don't think the chicks watch for that what you just did there. I yeah, don't, I don't think. Oh yeah. That. <laughs> that's just wrong. They don't like being called chicks. Oh, the ladies, women. Sorry, I apologize. I shouldn't have called women chicks. It's very intense. You're going to get me cancel culture again. I know. The people of the non-male gender. See, they can't cancel you if you don't care. That That's where I'm at with it, right? Jess coming in at five bucks. Just under 30? Oh, Just they don't 20. like the Dumbo. That's surprising mm. to me. because I think they wait, and then it's going to be the last 10 you seconds. You're going to see You're going to try to snipe it? Yeah, you're going to see four or five. Is there going to be a snipe on the Dumbo? I think it's a cool Look, he's blowing, the, he's blowing the musical notes out of his trunk, folks. And it's incredibly hard to do. Is that his tail, or is that... Uh, Mark, Mark Myers, Myers at 15. Red. Got it. Nice. Yeah, if you got a niece that likes Dumbo, that, that would make you her favorite uncle instantly. Oh, Andy Carla come in, but she's a little too low and a little too late. There's Andy Carla. You're I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more. There there's a few more in in the show, but I'm gonna do one that I think looks the coolest because the color the, the color I, I just don't know it just pops. Another iconic character. Another yeah, like one of the top five characters in Disney history. It goes it goes Mickey, Minnie, one two, Goofy. Goofy. Yeah, probably Goofy three. Yeah. Uh, you don't think? No. No? Yeah, I Goofy's guess, 3. The guy you have in your hand is 3. We'll give him 3A and 3B. Yeah. You're probably okay. right. All right. You're probably right. He's Classic, cracked ice, Donald Duck, Japanese import, $1 opening bid with $1 bid increments. I'm going to throw 10 bucks on Donald. You got to pipe and type it in, man. Him. Type it in for him, Brandon. Uh, whoa, what's going on here? Carla bed 6. I did 10. So 10 the current bid to Greg. Nice. Uh, Frankie's matched it. Jeff Bernie's at 15. At 15. Your customers <sighs> are rude. <laughs> <laughs> this, so this so is, Donald Duck's going you can tell nuclear. This is, this is the character. That Donald Duck is nuclear right now. Uh, he's, he's outpacing everybody so far. Yeah, that's a cool card. Man. 18 that's, bucks. That's, that's Brandon, a Lois. Keeper. Brandon Lois at 18 bucks on the Donald Duck. Still 20 seconds. Import. Still 20 seconds left to go? Yeah. Yay. Yeet. Yeet. Do you know this yeet? Yep. You do? Jeff Bernie, 20. Mark Myers, 23. 23 is the high. Five seconds left. Anybody jumping? Anybody jumping? $23 to Mark Myers. Insanity. Frankie did jump in after. Donald second, Daisy third. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The plot thickens, so Annie Carla. Put, you put mini that's, that's women hate speech. Slap scored his second of the night? Oh my god. Annie Carla. He might win the heart. Uh, I don't. Alright. Where, where are we going here? From the brand new SP Game Use, check this out. This is the Wayne Gretzky. Uh, I, it's insanely high priced online. You're getting a discount on it tonight. Uh, it's numbered to 263. It's the it's the red variation of Gretzky from the brand new SP Game Use. Fifty dollars on this card. Why are you looking at me like that? I can't believe how how much the cards are going for now. The, it's the, the Connor Bedard effect. You think it's just snowballed into everything? Pure insanity. Yep. 
Like a, a Wayne Gretzky insert number to 250 used to be like $20 probably. And now it's just nutso. I don't know. You just don't know anymore, Mike. After the world didn't end yesterday, like you were promising, I don't know what to do. Like you were promising. People say, <laughs> people say they build their money so they can buy uh, whatever they want. It's like COVID 2.0. It's safe to say that Disney's running the night. So far, yeah. Well, they are beautiful cards. Well, those cards are fantastic. Mike just kind of lucked into him. He's like, and he told me, like, you got to come over here, man. And I missed the boat on it. 50, Frankie. 50 bucks for the Frankie. It's number 263. All right, so I was doing some digging, and I found some old uh, giveaways. And the reason I'm bringing these up, I haven't promoted it yet because I know it's going to be batshit crazy. There's 40 of you, 42 of you watching right now. I want you to like and share this broadcast like you always should do. Um... This Saturday, I don't know if you've heard much about it yet. I'm going to start promoting it tomorrow. I'm going to promote it every day up until Saturday. You know what I'm getting at? Yeah. It is Upper Deck National Hockey Card Day in Canada. Um, we have a limited am amount of packs that are coming. Uh, we do give away two to three packs per person when you come in. If there's any left going forward, we usually give them away too. But usually we, we run out fairly quickly because of the fact that they're free cards. It's like fr uh, Record Store Day. Okay. It's the same type of idea. We didn't know that Connor Bedard was going to be in the set. So, literally, you'll pull a Connor Bedard rookie card out of one of every three packs. There's a 15-card set. You get five cards per pack. I think there's a purchase incentive, too, like the Upper Deck always does this to help us out. Bedard might be the purchase incentive at $20. I don't know for sure, but usually they put one of the top rookies. Uh, they give us a stack of them. And if you spend $20 on Upper Deck product while you're in the shop getting your free, free packs, you get the Connor Bedard as well. That's cool. Uh, they've been doing it for like 15, 20 years, so it's not it's nothing new. It just kind of came out of, it, it was quick, like it came out of nowhere kind of thing. Uh, however, we got some of the old promo packs from, from Upper Deck. Uh, this is when they did Singles Day. So Singles Day is the loneliest day of the year. It's the day after uh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. day yeah. It's also the highest shopping day other than leading... Well, I, single shopping day in the world. For Online the, shopping. For all the guys that forgot That's right. Tips. No, it's it's for uh, retail therapy. Oh. Right? <laughs> okay. So if you're down and lonely... You so find... these are older packs, okay? But I did find a big stack of them over there in, in the rubble. I got five packs to give away. I, got, I want you guys to type in singles day. Uh, we're going to give these away right now. The top five people after we draw the names will each get a pack. Slide out so, so Brandon's sure. going to do this. Um, uh, can I give a free giveaway? What do you got? Uh, well, Patrick had that one graded card that he wasn't entirely fond of. Oh, no, no, no. no. So, <laughs> no, no, no. It's for free. They don't, they don't want it. They don't want it. We'll just sneak it in somebody's... Uh, random leader. Yeah, right, random here, act, we'll give this to you. Random act of violence? Yeah. No, right. we'll, we'll give away a free graded card here in a minute. We're gonna do this right now. We'll put uh, two minutes on the or what? Two minutes on the clock? Sure. Two minutes on the clock. A little bit of a break for us. And I will tell the story about what happened at two a.m. Sunday night after WrestleMania Sunday. Don't forget about the egg sandwich. I know. So there was a what? What was the gas station called? Quick Stop or something? It's a 24-hour gas station. It was across the street from our Holiday Inn that we were staying at in Allentown. And I didn't know this, but you can gamble inside uh, a regular store in Pennsylvania. So variety stores have slot machines in them. So the, the gas stations we were going into, they all had slot machines. Okay. So we walk in at like 2 o'clock in the morning because we're starving to death after watching WrestleMania Night 2. And then sitting in the parking lot. And then sitting in the parking lot waiting for everybody to leave because you, it was just a shit show. I walk in and there's this lady playing slot machines sitting there. She's all dressed up. Like, looked like she was out for the night kind of thing. And I'm looking for food. So they've got this, uh, like, deli counter type thing where they have pre-made sandwiches and burritos and all that. And that's by the slot machine. So I go over there and she... Uh, the girl that was working there was helping me trying to find something. And she she told me that that sandwich was the best one they sold. That, really? Yeah. She was a sweetheart, eh? She was nice. Yeah. So, 
Especially for like two huge men that walk in at yeah, two in the like, morning. Like she's like, I'm not scared of you guys. Yeah. 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 All right. So I'm over there with her. She's she's trying to help me find like she goes, oh, there's a good sandwich in there. I'll find it for you. Like they're all pre-made sandwiches, like Seven Eleven. Just one good sandwich. No, like that type. Oh. Okay. She goes, it's the one my brother eats when he comes in. Like she she said, it's good. It was like a McGriddle, a sausage McGriddle with the two pancakes and the cheese and the the egg. So I bought it. But I'm at, as I'm over there, this girl's on the slot machine, and she says, "Oh, are you looking for something to eat?" And I'm like, "I'm like, yeah." <laughs> oh, oh man, that's what your lead is. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> it comes over to me. Oh, continue on. Okay, so she's like, "Are you looking for something to eat?" And I said, "Yes." And I said, uh, "She goes, well, you could go to Wawa, which is another like service station, but I guess Wawa does food 24 hours a day, like they'll cook pizzas and stuff like that." And I said, well, well, where's it at? And she, she stands up at this point and comes over and, like, she's on her phone. And she's like, what was it? It was Sesquinach or something like that. I, I, and, and she's like, oh, it's in such and such. And I'm reading it. Like, she's got her phone. I'm like, it says it's in Sesquinach. Where is that? And she starts howling laughing because it's, it's pronounced, like, Saskuchinich or something like that. <laughs> and I call it Sesquinach because yeah. I, I, I read it like it's. Sure, phonetically. Yeah. You read it phonetically, yeah. And she's like, oh, you're so funny. And she's like, she's like touching my arm and you stuff. Canadian and I'm like, guys are funny. you Canadian guys are funny. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, so I, I walk around the, I walk around the room and she's like, she's still standing there or whatever. And I come back and I was just looking at the food and they had these, uh, uh, hard boiled eggs, like two eggs in a, in a, yep. in a yeah, I know what you're talking about. Would you eat a hard Slav got a hat trick now? Wow. Would you eat a hard boiled egg from a gas station? Brando? No. No. Me what if it was laced with uh laced. what was it hot buffalo hot sauce no, so, <laughs> so they were like orangey red in color they look like they look like shit <laughs> if i'm being honest so i said to her i'm like what do you think about these things she's like oh that's so gross i'm like i'll buy it if you eat it <laughs> <laughs> she's like what the fuck so you dared her to eat i <laughs> dared her to eat these eggs and she's like she's like no 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 and I and she was being overly flirty, like everything I said was, ah, ah, ah. and I'm like, I'm like, uh, again, I'm hot, lady, but let let's go, <laughs> Calm down. like slow down here. Um, and then I'm like, what is this lady doing at two thirty in the morning in a gas station playing slot machines? She clearly didn't have a lot of. Friends. And then, she says this. She's like, oh, I gotta go back to my hotel room, but I forget where it is. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm like, this is a lot, lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually see your so, eyes like blink this way? So it is a it is a gas station for like trucks and like you know eighteen wheelers and stuff. So I'm like, this is a hat. This is a, a lot lizard for sure. Like she's overly dressed. Oh, you know yeah. she she's got like caked on perfume she's and like makeup thrilled. at three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lonely truck driver pulls in. So I get away from her because I finally figured out I'm, I'm over there paying for my stuff and I'm like I literally said to the girl I'm like hey. I'm like, what's like? Why did why is she over there playing slot machines this late? She's just like, oh, she's she's here every night, kind of thing. Then I'm like, I'm like, is she a prostitution? <laughs> and then she starts laughing. She's like, she's like, I'm not saying nothing. I'm like, I'm like, all right, see you later. So I just walk out the door. But is she follow you? No, no, fine. No. So anyways, still got it. You Even stun. the prostitutes want me. You stun. <laughs> all right, here we go. These it things. wasn't a dude. How many times are we randomizing, and what numbers are we taking? Uh, do it. Greg, give us a number one to ten. Quick. Uh, seven. Okay. It's always seven. Seven. So the first five people are going to get a free pack of these Singles Day. Uh, not to mention, these Singles Day packs are actually... Uh, <coughs> Frankie Pelkey Stange Web... Frankie uh, Pelkey Stange. That's the name of a Frankie good band. Yeah. yeah. Frankie Pelkey Stange. Frankie Pelkey Stange! Stange. Welcome Webster to the stage! And Corey. There you go. Okay, i got to leave that up for a second. So, I'll just tell you, Frankie. Yeah. Go Frankie. ahead, Frankie. Frankie. Pelkey. Pelkey. Stange. Keith Webster. And Corey. Hey, Webby. Stange. Keith. And Corey. Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to switch back here. Yeah, so I still got that going for me. When you guys laugh at me, say I'm ugly. Who says you're ugly? Oh, look at Brandon's in the spot now. Yeah, what's up? 
Oh, man, my throat's like raw. Well, you are drinking liquid ass. What, Gatorade? Oh, yeah. It's delicious. Oh, it's so gross. You didn't spell his name right. You left the E out, I think. He's upset. Yeah. It's not as bad as uh, Charles Lloyd. Oh, sorry, Adam. <laughs> Sorry, Pucky, that's... Yeah, to that's, this day, totally I, fault, to right? this day, Charles Lloyd... He, I don't think he cares anymore. I spell his name different every time I write it down. He's like, why can't you just get my name right once, you know what I mean? Alright. I don't even think I spelled it right on your tag. Nope, totally didn't. Totally didn't spell right, it. Alright, we, we gotta keep moving here. Alright, sorry. You sitting in for a minute? No. He's gonna jump in. Alright, we got a... So, from the brand new SP game used again. Really cool card. Keith Primo gets an insert in the SP game used this year. These are beautiful gold die cuts. They're called deep cuts numbered out of 250. So this is actually die cutted here. So Adam, I will definitely spell your name right from now on. Now that you pointed that out, I never even noticed. So I will 100% spell it right. We have $12 on the Keith Primo insert. He hasn't been in a product in a while. So here we go. 12 bucks on the Keith Primo numbered out of 250 from SP Game Used. Uh, we're going to open a pack of Game Used in what? 30 minutes? 28 minutes, yep. <clears throat> Alright. Isn't that... Nice. That egg sandwich you bought was disgusting, dude. Yeah, I, I put it in the microwave when we got back to the hotel and I took one bite of it. I spit it out he instantly. Did. He spit it in. I spit like, it out, man. And he's like, do you want to try this? Like, uh, <laughs> and I was eat. You know what was good, though, is those little pink little donuts. What were those called? Oh, the little, like... They're like strawberry shortcake donuts? Uh, you liked it more than I did, I think. And the, the little fingers, the pink fingers. The pink fingers. Pardon me. The pink fingers were like Billy Logs. They were Billy good. Logs, man. Yeah. They were good. That's good stuff. Yeah, the food in the states. That's why people are so obese. Like you can just buy whatever you want. Like just hook, 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 hook it into my veins, you know. All right. Really cool NASCAR autograph. It is a Ricky Stenhouse Jr. autograph, number to ninety nine. We've got twenty eight dollars on the Stenhouse Jr. Uh, it is the green mosaic or green cracked ice, I guess you would call it, number to ninety nine. We should have made a documentary on the way there. Filmed everything we ate and did like ratings on. Because people need to know. 28 bucks. <clears throat> people need to know the quality of that corn dog you ate at that service station. You should rate it. It was good. Yeah. It was one of the better. It was he said, one. He said it tasted like The fish. second one tasted like fish because they probably used the oil. They had fish nuggets. There. Fish nuggets. Fish nuggets. Dude. Whoa. When someone's selling you fish nuggets, you just stay away from that place, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you right now. I had a sandwich from there and it wasn't too bad. It was like a sub. Uh, sort of Those hamburgers were awful at the football stadium too. The four pack, they were gross, dude. There was there was no burger on it. No. Some yeah. nasty shit, man. Dude, those buffalo strips looked amazing, but we couldn't find. Them. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, there's seventy thousand people. Like, it takes an hour to get food minimum when you get in line. So you gotta walk around the stadium to find exactly what you want, and it, it's just it just doesn't happen. Some of the food looked amazing, but try finding it. Yeah, you couldn't find it. All right, let's do another auction here. The auctions seem to be uh, generating a little bit more interest. How about we do the Grady Dick first Bowman? Oh, man. So many possibilities for jersey swaps, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Bowman. Grady Dick first <laughs> he Bowman. Is, he's one of the hottest players in basketball, eh? Just because of his last name. Who did he switch with the other night, I seen? Uh, the, 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 the ongoing joke that I Black? Was, was yeah, it? Well, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think <laughs> but we got bids already. Doesn't matter. Five dollars <laughs> to Greg I don't Lucio. think he's played against the guy whose last name's Black yet. But they're talking. No, they did. Oh, they did. Play. And they switched. Oh, okay. it, and they like they switched positions. And yeah, he's they, like, they've been talking about it all year. Like, yeah, yeah. All the different guys he could possibly switch jerseys with, and Black Dick was one of them. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm sorry I missed it. I'll just have to YouTube it. We got five dollars for uh, Gregory <laughs> Lucio on the first Bowman, Grady Dick. It's crazy. He's the hottest player in baseball or basketball because of his last name. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Of course. Hilarious. Well, it's cool that he's a raptor, too. You know? like, Is he a raptor? Yeah. I didn't know yeah, that. He plays for the Toronto Raptors. Six bucks for Frankie Bernie. Yeah, he's a Toronto raptor. He's like a bench player. Too. I'm thinking about going back to Allen, Allentown in two weeks. For that show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I'm almost crazy enough I'd go with you. There you go. Like, if there was, a, if there was something, like if the Habs were playing on a Saturday there... And the and the card show was the next day, a hundred percent. I'd go. You know what? You it'd be better to fly though. It's too expensive, man. Not really. Uh, we got uh, six bucks to Frankie Bernie. Ask uh, Cindy if she'll lend us the money. 
Oh, I'm not worried about the money. It was one of the coolest car shows ever. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was cool. I like the way they did it. Speaking of car shows, cool car shows, ours is officially set for June 2nd. If you want a table, Greg's got a table. I'm sure Brandon will be there. Uh, Frankie's got a table. Uh, we do have tables selling up. Mike Drury's got a table. Everybody, all our regulars are going to be there. However, it's not just a card show. It is a collectible show. Nice. So if you want to sell records, uh, Funko Pops, uh, comic books, uh, toys uh, of the action figure variety, uh, <laughs> Sensi. No, we, no we don't want well, those. You, the those reason he mentions it because I, we think that Pennsylvania is the world's largest. Sex market. toy capital They're of the world. They're everywhere. Okay. You drive down, like, you feel like you're in Walpool Island. That's like a very... Uh, What's the word? Of, urban, not urban. Uh, rural? Very rural. That's gross, Corey, man. I'm, I'm not eating that shit. It almost uh, seems like you're the chick, The chicken and chicken and hours. fish burger? I'm not chicken eating that. Chicken and fish burger. Yeah, the surf and turf at McDonald's. Oh. That was probably the best thing I had in the States yesterday, was that strawberry strawberry and cream uh, apple pie thing from Stra- McDonald's. Strawberry and cream pie, you mean? Yeah, oh. at McDonald's. That was fantastic. You just liked it because you had a food break before you hit it, and you felt better. I felt better. So we, we stop at this gas station. It's going to get a little weird here. Yeah, I don't want I, I've already, I already know too much. Stop at the gas station. Bathroom's so dirty, I'm like, no, I can't do it. So Greg's, <laughs> Greg's doing something. I'm like, we need to go now. So I'm like, I'm trying to find the closest McDonald's because usually their bathrooms are fairly clean. People know this. Uh, so it's literally like a mile and a half away. Uh, I literally... He almost crashed into a car. I almost crashed into a few cars. I was I was uh, uh, in in uh, a stressful situation. Let's put it. Distress. So he was in distress. He was yeah. in anal, <laughs> anal distress. <laughs> <laughs> Usually that doesn't happen, but it happened there. All right, we'll do one more here. We got uh, Max Clark from the Detroit Tigers. First Bowman. This is a silver though. It is a refractor, isn't it? It's a chrome. Uh, yeah, sil- it's a refractor. Sil- yeah, silver. Silver refractor. $25 on the Max Clark Refractor from the Detroit Tigers. Yeah, you can't, you gotta should uh, twist it so you can kind of see how it glows. Yeah, it's I a can't. No? Yeah, it's the first refractor. There you go. You had it for a second. Yeah, it's shiny. Yep, second overall pick from, uh, didn't he play in Louisiana? Or LSU. I don't know. Yeah, I think he played for LSU. Second $25 round. on the Max Clark. Uh, welcome. We got, uh, what's that, 46? 46. I, I Business sleep. is picking up. I wouldn't sleep on this guy, ladies and gentlemen, because in a couple months or when he gets called up, good luck finding this guy. He's their top prospect. You know Max Clark? You know, yeah, isn't it weird? Thing. Isn't it weird how they all have blonde hair and they're like five foot nine and look like <laughs> surfers? Him and Holiday and uh, the other dude. They look all look like they're robots, like twins, triplets. Uh, Adley Rushman, or no, not Rushman. I've never noticed that. No, they all they're all like surfer dudes. Yeah, never noticed that. Oh, they are. That's just the style of hair. Yeah, yeah they all have long, they all blonde just hair. Have that yes. That Montreal's long, destroying Philly right long now. Long flow. <laughs> yes. Good. I need Philly to lose. Slav's got a uh, hat trick already. I need Philly to lose. I need Washington to lose. All right, Except we're done. losing 2 nothing, so damn it. All right. All right, we're going to go main show again. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Ba, 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 I'm kind of disappointed ba, ba. I didn't get walk-in music or, uh, like, fireworks before the show. Did Mike tell you I have my own entry music? No, it wasn't. So this is a pretty cool card that we're going to auction right now. Sorry. Is that Chris the Farley? devil went down to Georgia. Charlie Daniels. Oh, I thought that was Chris Farley's dad. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm driving <laughs> I'm driving down the road and Greg's just fucking around on his phone and he's like settle down Chris keep it in your pants maybe he was the guy rubbing his junk on us no <laughs> anyways so we're driving down the road what would you just say oh about Chris Farley he's like <laughs> I don't mean to body shame anybody, but look how fat Chris Farley's dad was, man. He's like, is he dead? I'm like, uh, he was like 800 pounds when they, the picture he showed me. He makes Chris Farley. He, he makes means, Chris Farley look like a child. Right. <coughs> Check out that photo. That's unbelievable. 
But he's a big dude. Well, he was a big, big person. Yes. Uh, they probably, like, one of the, you know, they cut the wall out of your house to get you out. With the forklift? Yeah. yeah. Show him the picture. No, I don't. I Show just, Brandon the picture. He can Google it. He's not. He didn't know how. <laughs> All right. Check so, Charlie Daniels, uh, the yeah. devil went down to Georgia. This is uh, Panini Americana no, with a authentic yeah. relic from dad, Americana. So. $1 opening bid <clears throat> with $1 bid increments uh, starting now. We can't accept a bid that uh, came in an hour ago. There we go. It's 30 minutes. What's up with Ronnie W? Who's Ronnie W? I don't know. Uh, Frankie's going to start things off at $2 for the Charlie Daniels. Chris Marchand's okay to throw him 20 bucks again. <laughs> he wants it, man. He wants it bad. It's eating at his soul. Uh, 20 is the current high bid, guys. Lady Fantasy. Lady Fantasy. Like my... Okay. Or the name of, name of the band is Canada. Check it out. That's my entry. This is the first, like, 45 seconds of that. Okay. If I remember on again. All right. <laughs> you have to send it to me. Yeah. Um, I wanted the Rocky theme tonight, and Brandon told me to F off. I did not. See, and I asked him I for said, music, and he's started. like, sure. Jeff Bernie's going to steal this. Don't do it. He's going to freak out. Chris Farley's dad, $22. Oh, my hey, God. Man. Jeff Bernie, 22 bucks. A nice it, snag. I thought it was Colonel I Santa. thought I, I, I kind of thought. You know who thought I thought it was when I first saw it? Was Santa? The guy from uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. I could see I it. Did. I did. That's what I thought it was. What's he saying? My max was 20. That's right. You just stick to it. All right. I can't believe what these things sell for, but it is what it is. It's from the 2023 NHL All-Star Mascots Fabrics. <laughs> I don't know if they cut this out from his anus or what. I think it's a jersey. He's got a jersey on. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so they cut this off the jersey he was wearing at the All-Star game. It is Carlton the Bear oh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's the asking favorite. price on Con. Uh, What's his name? Carlton the Bear, thirty-five dollars. Here, type your phone number again. I'll send. You. Oh, here we go. They're dating now. He's just jealous. I'm getting my own theme music, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the first like forty-five seconds of this song is epic. Okay. <clears throat> I don't. Would you? Do you think? Do you rather hang with Carlton the Bear or Pause? Pause. Yeah. I agree. We got 20 seconds left on the Carlton the Bear NHL All-Star Fabrics. $35 on the Carlton the Bear. Your all-time goal has got to be UP, though. Like, you're talking... Oh, yeah. Yeah, like mascots. Philly fanatic. He's cool, too. Why wasn't he at Mania? Why wasn't Gritty there? They could have power bombed Gritty through. A you know what? Through a freaking table. When man. when Sami Zayn won the title, they should have had Gritty come out and celebrate with him. It's basically the same person. Yeah, they kind of look at, like very similar to each other. No takers on the Carlton. Ooh, look at this. Look what we got here. Another Disney classic. We couldn't figure out her name. We couldn't remember her name. Remember? I, I figured. It we out. figured it out. From the Disney 100 what? anniversary. You remember that was? Yeah, we had our time, man. We had brain she farts. Jeez, Ursula, Jesus. We got Ursula with the you starting bit of a dollar yeah, and no, increments <laughs> of a dollar. I don't have a daughter, man. You know, sorry. If I had a daughter or a granddaughter, I'd probably know who this lady was, but I wasn't. Uh, Patrick's biggest uh, Disney was. Uh, you said Robin Hood. Robin Hood and Penelope. Jess Toll at ten dollars uh, to Peter start Pan. things off. Peter Pan, I guess. Yeah, Peter Pan. He liked. Brandon. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a combo pack. That's really cool. There's eight people on that card, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't figure it out. That's it's not. I didn't put it on because it's not shiny. Little hint. Uh, Joe Strong's at 12 bucks for the Ursula 100th anniversary. 15 seconds left. Yeah, I'd also use that song for my batting. Uh, Your walk-up? Yeah, yeah walk-up. Mark Myers. Yep. Mark Myers. He, this guy... <clears throat> This guy's all over him. He's got it. And he's got it, too. 
15 bones for the octopus lady. <laughs> the octopus lady. <laughs> Coming at you. Let's let's do it. I'll, I'll throw it up as a, a wild card. The, the Disney stuff's going hot tonight. Why not? It so, is. you can't read who this is on it because it's all in uh, Japanese. But is the I Disney think, 100th anniversary? You'll, you'll know who it is. I think they'll know. So, it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Guess which one's bashful, kids. <laughs> uh, opening bid, $1. Uh, bid increments of a dollar. i got to write this down on the sheet. It's a bonus card highest tonight. You know, it would have been so much better if they would have had Sneezy wiping his nose on the dress. Was highest one uh, <laughs> Donald? 23 bucks. I think so. I think this was higher. The Disney you think so? I think so. We should call it the Disney Challenge. That's what we should have called it's this Disney, show. It's a Disney princess? Yeah, I think it goes higher. Frankie's got the opening bid at five for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Well, eight characters for the price of Eight characters for the price. That is a good point. Well, I mean, she's just uh, she's a Disney. Well, that's why I'm here, Mike. I, I only I have good ideas, you know. Yeah, it would have been better if Sneezy was wiping his nose on the grass. Though that would have been, <laughs> that would have been, that would have been hilarious. Dude. It's it's not coming as quick this time, boys. Seven uh, seven dollars to Jess. Seventeen seconds left. Do you think the Snow White gets lost because it's such an old classic? Well, they're redoing it, eh? Are they're they? doing a live action one. Well, they already I, did I it, think, didn't they? I think no, no, no. I think uh, they shouldn't though, man. I think what's her name? Um, Mark Myers at ten, right at the last was second. It Jessica Chastain? No, who's who's going to be the uh, evil witch? Uh, is it Gal Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot is going to be the. Uh, I can see it. That's the evil, hot. The evil that's witch. Hot. I like. I'm digging Ooh. that. I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty cool. I can see it. All right, for our wrestling fans, it's not a wrestling card, but he is a huge star. Oh, man, I know what the one this is. This is good. And he has no cards. He literally has, like, three different cards, and they're insane prices. I actually watched his show today for the very first time. He we have the Pat McAfee Legends of the Fall. Uh, Don Russ insert for $25. He talked about how cool it was and how cold it was to be at WrestleMania. He said he froze to death, and uh, Michael Cole had on toques and a toque and a glove, I, I guess. He you couldn't space. really see him. But uh, McAfee said Got the it. other two announcers were nice and toasty, and he was freezing to death because he was ill prepared. He said. So at least, uh, at least he had to freeze along with the rest of us. So the reason, obviously, he didn't play very long, and punters don't get a lot of cards. Like, they just, they don't get cards. Well, that's really well, sad because I got, a punter. I yeah. got him a beautiful prison uh, punter card yesterday and he didn't even want it. What's the guy's name? Santos? He's Yeah, he's a field goal kicker for From Chicago. Bears. And it's like, a, it's a beautiful prison. I'm like, I got this for you because it's, he's like, he's the kicker. I'm like, yeah. even better. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you gotta buy the guy a gift and that's how he treats you, man. Well, you should have given it to your friend at the gas station. <laughs> You're still mad the at slot machine. $10? No, the slot machine lady. She doesn't want a Santos card. Did you ask her? Well, you're right. I could have asked her. I guess I'm not a good person. She didn't want hardboard legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she must. She must be a prostitute, Mike, because she she, she must be a prostitute, right? Nobody she, wanted she was to nice to me. I'm like, why can't a person just be nice to you? It doesn't mean she's a prostitute. Oh no, poor. <laughs> I'm like, she was nice to me too, but it doesn't mean she wants to me to pay her for sex. You know, but Mike Mike seems to think she was a little evil. All right, we got a big one. So Greg's looking this up on the way, on the way home, and we're like, "Who's Joe Black?" It's from the movie Meet Joe Black, right? No. Oh, Meet Joe Black. <laughs> so who's Joe Black? So Joe Black was the first African American pitcher to win a World Series game. He ain't lying. I ain't lying. We look up Joe Black, Almost. authentic autographs. Yep. They're all cut autos because he's been dead for so long. What would you see? The one out of four was worth. Well, I, it, it's so long ago, but the, the, the cool it's like five hundred bucks. Yeah, the cool thing about this one is it's top sterling, which is a, so. This is top sterling. It is an right. actual one of one, uh, cut auto of Joe Black, uh, historical figure in baseball. Uh, probably gets lost in the shuffle like Jackie Robinson, first African American, but Joe Black, first African American to win a World Series game as a pitcher. Uh, we got $600 on the one-of-one one cut auto from Joe Black. Let me put it to you this way. There's a lot more Jackie Robinson autographs online. Of course there are. Than there are Joe Blacks. Of course, he's worth a lot more, but there's very few Joe Blacks. That's right. Uh, historical importance. Yes. Yeah, once-in-a-lifetime kind of card. 
It is a one on one out of a major Topps product, Top Sterling. I'm not, I'm not rich enough. It's to a open, cool card. Open that kind of stuff. You ever open Top Sterling? No, it's expensive. I think. I don't think I even own a Top Sterling card. Life's tough, eh? I'm exhausted, man. Yeah, we had. A long, I need to go to bed. We had a long trip. We're almost there. We got like 25 cards, like maybe 35 cards left. We're making good time here. My dogs were happy to see me. My uh, Bella came running. Yeah. Nova woke me up early this morning. I didn't get any sleep again. Yeah. He's like, come on, Dad, I want to play. I'm like, all right. He's like, well, first he's like, what'd you get me? Yeah. So he liked all his gifts, eh? That's good. Except for, uh, what's the one that he didn't, he wasn't really fought. What was the one that he didn't play with? Oh, the the monster truck. He's got so many monster trucks. He's like, uh, he didn't really touch it. He liked the two the two small monster trucks because the lights flash when you when you zoom them. Like they got like a a friction thing that activates the lights in them. You know. Well, I'm glad because Beth hated all her gifts. She said they were garbage. Yeah, Sydney never even said thank you for the for the mug I got. I said, hey, I got you a puzzle and I got you this and I missed you and I loved you and she basically told me where to go. Wow. I wasn't missed at all. Wow. What is going on with the I world? I almost slept on the couch last night, but I was, I so, I was so so tired that I just crawled into bed. And the no, dog, she should have slept on the, the couch dogs, last night. The dogs and I basically Excuse cried, me, ma'am. You need to leave. To sleep, if you want me to be honest. All right, here's a nice one. Aiden Hutchinson, Tools of the Trade, number 99. It is a quad memorabilia rookie card of Aiden Hutchinson. We got 80 bucks on this guy. I probably deserve who? I Me. I did take off to WrestleMania for the weekend. And now we're talking about going to SummerSlam. Wow. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, Darcy's going to uh, claim this. Oh, Frankie was right up there. Sorry, Beth. I didn't mean to let the cat out of the bag. I, I got no problem with him kicking you out of the bedroom, Beth. You can sleep on the couch. Where's my Detroit fans at? So this is a rare card. This is from the Panini VIP party. So let me explain this to you. When you go to the National in Chicago, if you buy this package from Panini for like thirty thousand dollars US, if you like, it's for set up for store. So if I were to go there, they they make this package for you. It's like thirty thousand dollars if you pick it up at at the National. It's it's boxes, it's cases and boxes. You spend thirty thousand dollars from them, you get to go to the v, uh, Panini VIP party at wherever they have it. Oh, it's cheaper twice. <laughs> yeah, it. They usually bring in like a, a signer. They usually have it's like food, finger foods, all that stuff. I've seen. I know people that have gone. Whatever. They also give you a silver pack, that's only available at the National. This card came out of one of those packs. It is serial number to twenty five. It is a, it's one of the rarest Calvin Johnson inserts you'll find because you can't even get it out of a real pack. It came out of a bonus pack. All right, so we've got $30 on the Calvin Johnson out of 25. It is serial number 25 out of 25. It is very shiny. The card is not doing any justice being in this on this angle. Uh, Frankie's going to grab it. Megatron. I never liked Megatron because he played against the Bears. But he was a good receiver. Yeah, I'll show you. See if we can get some of that shine. Look at that shine on there. It is sharp looking. Now the back. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's right here. So we called my mom Saturday night. 25 her, out of 25. It won't pick it up. And that's just if just a gorgeous card. Breakfast Sunday morning. We almost thought she was going to come. Oh really? Yeah. Graham, Graham. We wanted Graham, Graham to drive to Philly. But she let us down once again. Oh. We have authentic memorabilia card from the New York Yankees outfielder, number seven, Mickey Mantle. Hopefully you guys can see the memorabilia in the seven. I think it's it's got to be leather from a glove or a shoe. It's brown. They didn't wear brown jerseys. Uh, Could have been his ball bag maybe. But uh, we got $110 on the Mickey Mantle relic card from tops kind of smells like it's uh, his athletic support how much is it 110 oh. 
I smelt it, and it's, it's, it could have been from his Come on. Wow. Come on. Mickey Mantle Game Used Relic. Mickey Mantle never heard of her. <laughs> never heard of her. <laughs> the <laughs> what time is it? It is 8.56. All right. We got two more cards here, and we're going to rip up. Uh... I'll just do one of these, and I'll get back to doing a few other things. All right, here we go. Things are getting serious. We have the Connor Bedard Banner Year Memorabilia from the NHL Draft. Uh, the thing I, I really think about this card, so there's not a lot of multicolor ones online. If they are, they're like one, two colors. There's not a lot of design on them. So what's really cool about this, this is the Upper Deck logo. So this is the R from the top of the Upper Deck logo, okay? So it's kind of cool that it's an Upper Deck card with the Upper Deck logo on it because they're the sponsor of the draft. We have $500 on the Connor Bedard Upper Deck logo banner. Did you see any of the big banners at the uh, WrestleFest or whatever? Yeah. They're beautiful. The old Roz War and all that? Well, no, not that. I, I mean the ones when you were standing in line, they were like all the posters from the original WrestleManias. Yeah. Did you see those? Yeah, the, yeah. The big ones hanging, those things. It's 500, cool. Frankie. Yeah, if you're into old Like a single color one sells 3350 online, but uh, like when they have a lot more color and stuff, they're a little more unique. And I, I think this one's unique because of the Upper Deck logo on it, like the part of the Upper Deck logo. That was one of my favorite parts of WrestleMania, all of the stuff from past years. Seeing as how I haven't been like actively watching wrestling for the last 10 years. <sighs> I did touch uh, Mr. T's shorts. Like the he touched his butt. Yeah. What, how did you do that? Well, they had well, them, on, right in front of had them on display and they had velvet ropes, and I'm like, I'm not, not going to touch Mr. T's ass. Not when you're this close. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to do a couple more here right before we do this so uh, SP like, game use. Like have to run interference? No, no, I just reached over and gave it a little scratch and sniff, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of some slabs here. We got a Sammy Sosa KSA 8. Look at that mustache. We got $14 on the Sammy Sosa rookie card. PS or sorry, KSA 8. Alex is asking for a couple packs of Parkers. Yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah, if you guys want packs, now is the time to get in on them. Uh, yeah. How much is a pack of Parker? Uh, Frankie's going to claim that. 12 bucks. Let's do a couple more here to get through these. Uh, X Tiger, Sean Casey, Bowman Chrome rookie from 1997, PSA 9. Remember him? Yep. Lefty. $16 on the Sean Casey. Did he play for the Expos too? I think so, yeah. I think he was drafted by the Expos. Cleveland. Was he? $16 on the, on the Sean Casey, Bowman Chrome rookie. PSA 9. Wasn't he a, a big hit in first baseman? Yeah. yeah. The Tigers got him at the trade line at deadline the year they went to the World Series. I hated him. He was super slow. Didn't do anything to help him. Yeah, he did. He batted 300. He was the 300 hitter. $16 on the Sean Casey. No, we didn't make it to Gino's, Alex. We, we were talking about how we didn't really get the real cheesecake uh, or cheese steak uh, experience. It's one of the regrets we had. So, Frankie just got a turkey. Yeah, I don't know. What no, means. I eat three in a row. Oh. You did? I got Darcy, Frankie, Frankie. No, no. Yeah, I went Darcy, Frankie, Frankie. He got two in a row. No love for the Sean Casey. Just throw that in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> you give that away with that card Patrick has. All right, this is a beautiful card. This is the in-the-game used all-star jersey of Peter Forsberg. This is a three-color jersey of Forsberg. Arguably the greatest Swedish player to ever play for the Colorado Avalanche. <laughs> Just the Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with this camera? Nothing. Am I having a stroke? No, it's oh, fine. just focus finally. 
Thirty dollars on the uh, Peter Forsberg three color jersey card, all star jersey. You having a stroke again? I'm so tired, man. Yeah, it was a, it was a grueling trip. Cleveland will be a little easier, three and a half hours. Yeah. Shit, I can do that in three hours, three and a half hours probably. Philadelphia nine and a half, like three stops. We did get you don't even have to stop going to Cleveland. Well, we'll have to stop at least once. Is there a Bucky's, Bucky's on the way? No. Nah. No Bucky's yet. That was another disappointment. No anchor bar. But given the circumstance, you just, you know, like, you have to be sane. We got the Matthew Nyes marquee rookie from Opeachy. $1 opening bid, $1 bid increment. You want to just hit, uh, see, start there? Yep. Oops. Oh, God. Don't touch anything. Hey, don't on. touch anything. Brandon. We're gonna be a minute. He's pooping. I no, he he fucked it up. I tried it and it went away. We'll be right back. He took he took the. Uh, I, I moved the mouse and it went away. Oh. So it's right here. Okay. And there you go. Cool. There we go, guys. He's having a good year. Eh? Matthew Nice. That's I don't know. I think he's Dale spent, Brown's at five bucks anyways. He put it in. I think he spent time on the. It's top. our fault. The clock wasn't running. Top line. Doesn't he play on the top line? Uh, he does, yes. He does, yeah. He's quite good. Yeah. That's why I thought, like, I don't watch a lot of Leafs games. I don't watch a lot of hockey in general, but I, I, I thought I'd seen him. What do we got for packs? Anybody? Uh, Alex has two, two Parkers. Paul Hoffman's at seven. I'll take the Parkers, too, man. We got three Parkers, Brian. Just, just for shits and giggles. You take out a state rubber checks, right? Yeah. <laughs> out of state. A uh, new product on the list tonight. We got that uh, top big league for six bucks a pack. Fifteen. Greg Lewis. Blah, 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 I can't even talk. Uncle Brian was a good pickup. One more, and then we're gonna do some uh, packs here. It is from WrestleMania. Eight. It is Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ric Flair with the Film Cell. Uh, this card is numbered to two ninety nine. It's thirty five dollars for the uh, official Film Cell from WrestleMania Eight. Macho Man and Ric Flair. Oh yeah. You see the picture of me with Macho Man? No. I have to show you that after the show. I wish you could have put it on for everybody. That's pretty funny. Eh? I was out in the concourse and I met a guy, a guy dressed up like Sergeant Slaughter. His wife was dressed as Hulk Hogan. His and, wife was dressed as Hogan? Yes, a man That's was weird. dressed as Macho Man, and then a black man was dressed as Goldust. $35 on and the I got, I got film sale. You want to see it? Sure. It was awesome. Patrick wouldn't do it. I wanted Patrick to take a uh, picture, but he wouldn't. Yeah, I went up to get some drinks. Mike, and Pat, er, Mike stayed down at the seats. And he just happened to these folks. And uh, Lincoln, Center, Lincoln Financial Center, is that what it was called, Mike? Financial Field. Yeah, there. Oh. oh, actually, the wife's not actually too bad looking. You know what? She was wearing <laughs> a phone. Both her butt cheeks were sticking out. Oh, yeah? In, like, but in leotards. But yeah, was, she had on a phone, dude. <laughs> stringing, stringing it busy. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do some packs now, guys. All right, slide up for one second, Greg. Yeah, yeah sorry, no problem. Just in case we get an influx of packs that come in. It usually happens when we start. Uh, yeah. All right, so i got to try and get this camera working, too, because if not, we've got to switch cams. So this was the one that... What is going on? All right, so. Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Oh! That's it.
that's who was playing the slot machines. <laughs> that's way too close, man. Yeet. No, that's as close as up. we get. So Terry had pre-ordered yeah. a box of SP Game Use. Good luck to Terry. Good luck, Terry. I hope your WrestleMania dreams come true, buddy. You got to back that up, man. Back that so. shit up a little bit, yeah. No, 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 untouch, untouch, untouch. All right. Better? There we go. Empty box. Keep yeah. that. I got this. No real thick ones in it. So we're hoping for some cool... What? Look at the back card, folks. All-Star Game Saber Fabric tooth. of Sabertooth from the from the Buffalo Sabres. All right, card number one. Vinny LeCavier, number two, 243. Steven Stamkos, number two, 108. What do we got? We got an autograph. It is a goalie from... It's an All-Star. Vasilevsky auto. That's not so bad. That's pretty good. What is next? Oh, right it's winger. It's an orange. Uh, is that an all-star jersey? I don't know. Vasilevsky. Auto. Tarazenko. All-star jersey. What's the next card? Maybe another auto? Nope. Will Coyle. Coley? Coley? Rookie sweaters for the New York Rangers. And don't sleep on these cards. These all-star fabrics of the, of the mascots are like 30 40 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vasilevsky seems to be the hit with the All-Star Auto. I didn't see any numbering on it. Hold on a second. Nope, just a base auto of Andre Vasilevsky. You can check to see if they're <coughs> short prints, though. Numbered on the stamp post. It's like one... Yeah, all the cards are numbered except yeah. for the, uh, the auto and the, uh, jerseys. There you go. SP Game Used. We got those available if anybody wants them. Where's the Parker set? Uh, we'll draw little boxes back there, yeah. You need three of them. Thank you. Alright, we got the Parkers. We don't need those two. Okay. We got three Parkers coming up. Good luck, Alex. Alright. We got a die cut. Korzak rookie, veteran Johnny Goodrow, William Carlson Silver. We have a Cole Perfetti, tomorrow's riches. That is a die cut. Shifley, Chuck, Erickson, and Trocheck to finish off that pack. Looking for numbered cards, minis, autos, patches, jerseys, any of the above. We got McKinnon, Lindell. We got a rookie of Zach Hayes. That is a silver. So the legends are one per box. There's the Peter Forsberg, Devin Taves, Anderson, Mangiapani, and Warinsky. Uh, Greg's pack is now. Those two are for Alex. We got Greg up next. If anybody wants any packs, let us know. He's got a silver here. We got Kreider. Noah Cates, rookie. Tyler Bertuzzi, veteran. A veteran of Connor Garland. The silver from Parker's Brad Marchand, Campbell, Evan Rodriguez, and Tanner Pearson. Still got some Parker's back, uh, packs sitting there if anybody wants them. I'll take one more. Mike. You want one more? Yep. We'll do one more. We got a rookie of Mad Soger. He's got another Mad silver. Soger. Uh, Darcy Kemper, veteran. We got a veteran, Casey Middlestat. Be a good player. Uh, Kucherov, that's not bad. Nikita Kucherov with the silver. That's a gold rainbow. See the background's gold? So those are one per box. Uh, Giroux, Strom, Keller, and Donato. If anybody wants any packs, let us know. Or, or we'll get back into singles night again. Uh, how about we do this? How about we take... How about, we don't give it away yet, but we'll take uh, entries. 
Terry wants two Parker. We're gonna do. See, this gives better per- perception of how big this is. Uh, the Cody Rhodes WrestleMania autograph poster. It is eleven and a half by seventeen. I think that's the measurement, is it? That's the standard. That looks. No, that doesn't look eleven seventeen. Eleven. Yeah. That's gotta be it. No, it's an odd size. I, I measured it was eleven this way, and, and so it's gotta be seventeen. 17? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, Brandon. Sorry. Just from the angle I'm looking at, it looks bigger than that. What is Big League Baseball? It's just just the Topps product. It's a low-end Topps product. You can pull autographs, memorabilia, all the cool stuff. All right, we're going to take entries for the Cody Rhodes. You have to type in, Cody Rhodes still sucks. (laughs) Oh, man. Cody Rhodes still sucks is the code to enter this contest. Don't do it, folks. And while we're taking those, we're going to do a couple packs for Terry. Cody sucks. He sucks. He really, really sucks. With the exclamation point. Hey, what's going on here? You're good. I'm just punching Well, I can't see if they can see it. Just punching in names. All right, we got Tristan Jerry, Timo Meyer, Jacob Slavin Silver, Joel Farabee Silver. That is a rainbow. Soderstrom, Suzuki, Subban, and Farabee. Somebody put the exclamation. That's that's my favorite. You should get two entries. Give him two entries. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Kucherov, Spencer Knights, veteran Victor Olofsson, Jacob Perot, now a Montreal Canadian rookie card, Cam Talbot, Ottinger, Schwartz, and Hronik. Nothing good yet, man. What's going on here? Alex wants one big league baseball. Okay, yep. No, 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 no. no big league baseball. Yeah, it's a one. smaller box. And it's an unopened uh, box. Yeah, the one on top. Okay, okay. Thank you. No worries. I'm back. You're open. Who's this? Terry. Terry. Do you want me to open that big league baseball? Okay. You ever watch the show? No, never, never. Not unless I'm on it. You go back and watch the replay? No. That was the joke. Alright, one pack for Alex out of the big league. Oh, I thought that was a huge pack of cards. There's two stuck together. Nari. All right, we got Whit Merrifield for the Jays. Julio Rodriguez. J-Rod. These are actually nice cards. They're like the old style, like old style feel to them. Framber Valdez. Look at that guy's wind up. Uh, Brenton Doyle. Emmanuel Class. Become a big leaguer. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a scratch off. Scan the above QR code to see the competition rules and enter this scratch-off code for your chance to own top big league cards in 25 degrees. Oh, for your own card. So they're going to put a fan in, in the set. Nice. Uh, good vibrations. Matt Olson insert. They're super short prints, too. Maybe they sell for a lot of money. The What's fans, this? The fans. This one's backwards. Oh, we got a silver. We got a shiny Gunnar <clears throat> Henderson card. I'm, I'm high on him. I really like that. Gunnar? Yeah. yeah. Gunnar Henderson. He's one of the surfers, too. Gunner, oh, yeah. Gunner, Holiday, and... Uh, How many is Jeff Byrne asking? He wants five. Jeff Bernie wants five packs of big league. Oh, I guess they're over here. All three of them got blonde hair. They're all built the same way. And they're all left-handed power guys. They're all surfers? Yeah, they look like Sunshine Runny Bass. Runny Bass. Remember them? Yeah. Remember the Titans? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they all look like Sunshine Runny Bass. All right, five for Frankie coming up here. Sunshine Runny Bass. Oh, he's got shinies coming out early in the box here. Andrew Abbott, rookie card shiny. We got a... Uh, I, did I open that backwards? Maybe. Brent Batty. Looks like you get one shiny per pack. He's a big rookie this year, Brent Batty. Uh, Lawrence Butler rookie card. Henry Davis rookie card. This is a rookie Same pack. Thing. Alexis Diaz. Well, that guy was the first overall he pick. He was the first overall pick. Bobby Witt Jr. Mike Trout with the big league appearance. And, oh, my God. Pirate Parrot. I got one of those when we went on With vacation. the mascot. Remember when we went on vacation and I got a parrot? I still have them. 
What's he gotta, talking about? I gotta stop. I gotta stop. It's him. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. We're getting five packs of Jeff. Yep. Frankie you said you mean Jeff. Said, oh, I might have said, said yeah. Said Frankie. Give me a break, man. I, I haven't slept in like four weeks. Uh, Wade Meckler, rookie. Miles McCollis. That dude looks like he's fifty. Austin Matthews got a sixty-six. Uncle Brian said. Ezekiel Duran, Jose Serrano, Alex Thomas, Ryan Mountcastle. We got a bat. Oh, that's cool. To the moon die cut. That's a nice looking card. Adam, to answer your question, it kind of is in a way. Yeah, it's, it's a low end. It's a low end product. It's it's a beginner product for kids. Yeah, it's a lot. It's it's for kids, but there are serious cards in it. Like you can there's pull, autos and numbered stuff. You can pull cards of real value out of Max it. Muncy. But it is more geared towards kids to kind of keep the fun in the hobby. Yes. So how many games the Leaf got? How many games do the Leafs have left, Brian? Is he gonna get seventy or what? He got five, right? I hope he gets seventy. Yeah, let him get seventy. That'd I don't care. Uh, Kevin Gossman, Blue Jays. Uh, Kirby, Ru say it, Greg. Kiebert Ruiz, Matthew Libertori, Cal Hendricks, Joey Votto, Justin Lawrence. Good vibrations, Fernando Tatis Jr. And the silver, silver is Devin Williams, pitcher for the Brewers. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit. Yeah, uh, I'd like to open six cases. Jonah Heim, George Springer with the Jays, Corey Seager, Sean Murphy, Chris Valament, rookie card. Uh, Christopher Morrell. Look at that. Oh, there's cool. your there's your Gunner Henderson. Yeah, there's his hair. Look, look at the hair. Doesn't he look like Sunshine Running? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I see. Novechkin got his thirtieth. Gunner Henderson. No numbering on that. And Zach Gallen. It sucks to be the Orioles. Eh? They got the two best prospects for the shortstop of the entire game. But league. no one cares. Because <laughs> Baltimore. Well, they're clear in a couple years when they win the yeah. World Series. It's going to be them in Detroit, man. I'm telling you. We got Mookie Betts. I, Marco my, Luciano, my rookie. Mookie oh, yeah. Quinn Priester. Meester, Meester. You're Quinn Priester. Rookie card. Uh, and Carcion Strand, rookie card. Tovar, Walker Beeler. Oh, another one of those to the moons. These are cool cards, man. Louis Robert. Louis Robert to the moon. He's a serious ball player. Right? Yeah, yeah. And oh, good one. Sack or Sal Frelick for the Brewers. Year, well. Silver. Big rookie this year. All right, who's got more of these packs? That's it. No, no. Somebody wanted five more up there. Seventy-six for Frankie. No, no. Go up. It Tom. says I'll take five big league baseball. Who is it? Keith Webster. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking Come start on, with me. Jesus Christ, man. And Latter Day Saints. Yeah. You better hope your mom's not watching. She's not. She's bad. This pack's thick. I think there might be a jersey or something. <laughs> Frank, yeah, I know. I was just kidding. I know it's Jeff. We have Jeff. We have Jeff down for five packs. If I ever come. Nathaniel Lowe, Jordan Hicks, Gray, Schnaniel, Schnaniel. Nolan Shaniel, rookie card. Ian Happ, Hunter Green, Good Vibrations, Juan Soto, and a silver of Jazz Chisholm Jr. Now, if I ever come into some serious money, I'm going to have a break of 8,000 packs. 8,000 packs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to open six cases live over here. <laughs> Jose Barrios, CJ Abrams, Tatis, Justin like. Steele, India. <laughs> Ryan McMahon, we got another To the Moon, Juan Soto. I think you get the whole set of these in here. And a silver of Carlos Correa. He's with the Twins now? Wasn't he a Houston Oiler? Patrick? Isn't that the equivalent of, like, hobby purgatory? Like, the Minnesota Twins? <laughs> Pretty much. It's really sad. They got some really good baseball players in there. Cal Rowley, Crawford, not going to try it. Carmen something, rookie. Kessinger, rookie. Jason Hayward. So this is Francisco Alvarez. Another big rookie. No, that's year. a blue. That's a That's a blue refractor. See it's blue? Here. Brandon's got this camera all screwed up. How do I see the difference? Blue and silver? Well, with the refractor yeah. going on it. <laughs> and the Philly Fanatic was in there too. But trust me, it is a blue refractor, Francisco Alvarez. He's a top ten rookie this year too. He's not a rookie, Greg. Well last year. Four years ago, he was a really good rookie. No, 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 no. He was in last Keep backstepping. We talked about this last week, is that you can be a prospect in a, for six years. Yeah. Here we go. 
your mom used to watch but the swearing diaz stanton ryan peralta vaughn tim anderson good vibrations josh jung and a silver of spencer strider i do like strider's name he's got a good baseball game he's a good pitcher too uh, we got another big league coming up for Alex. Louis Matos, Matos, rookie card, Gorman, Siri, Brian, Siri. Are there any good cards in this set? It's not likely. <laughs> Brian Bello, Von Grissom, Perdomo. Oh, we got Slam and Sammy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A legend? Do they show both white skin or black skin? Greg. <laughs> Alex Verdurgo. He's got some kind of disease, doesn't he? It's his playing card. Oh, it's from his playing days. Jesus. I an action shot of him recently. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not on no more. It's true. What's the matter? Like, I like Michael Jackson, too. Don't they have the same disease? It's like, going out. Alex Hernandez... Canzoni, I could eat, I could eat a Canzoni right now. Yeah. <laughs> Williams, McCormick, ooh, we got uh, ooh something different coming. James Outman, Novo Marte rookie card. What is this? Tony Gwynn. Ooh, that's cool. That's, that's a cool orange. Tony Gwynn card. Huh. <coughs> Just a Tony Gwynn big league, nice. orange variation, and J T Romato with the silver. You read some of the crazy stats from Tony. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. amazing. We got uh I don't know if there's any hits in this box. I was at an Expos game and he hit Uncle Murray in the ass with the one guard. And it was on the RDS the next morning. I'm not even kidding you. We had box seats on the first base line. Okay, so it says here collect the base set across five tiers of rarity. One to two hundred is common. Uncommon is two oh one to two fifty. That's a rainbow foil, so those are one per pack. Rare is a blue foil, Out which of is pull. 251. <laughs> nice. What? Out of hole, said Cody Rhodes still sucks. Hey, bro, how's it going, man? Rare is a blue foil. Super rare is a red foil. And legendary is gold foil. It says, also look for parallels. Common. All the cards have a black parallel out of 25. And a legendary foil fractor out of uh, 101. There you go. Yeah, so there's cool cards in it. Hey, Timmy, he was pretty upset that he didn't get to start the season there. His, his dad was talking and he wanted to trade him. That's, they were talking about crazy things, man. There is uh, two, three, six packs of big league left if anybody wants them. But we'll get back to those. Uh, we'll get rid of the... Our, uh, blah, 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 blah. No tigers in that set? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, there's tigers. Right Why wouldn't there be tigers in the set? Fuck off, man. All right, let's get back to doing. Uh, we're gonna give the Cody Rhodes away at the end of the night. Hopefully within the next uh, twenty minutes or so. Okay. I'm switch back. We got some cards to do here. Two camera. I'm gonna switch back these cameras again. Yeet! 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 Finally, the G Dog has come back to Rocket Sports Cards. All right, there you go. Okay. We good? Yeah, we good. All right, next card up, we got a really cool Dominic Hasek insert. This is Hasek uh, in the crease from Panini, or sorry, Pinnacle Summit. Uh, it's serial numbered on the back. It is fifteen dollars for the Hasek insert. Arguably one of the best check bullies of all time. He's from Czechoslovakia, right? <laughs> he's no, a he's Finnish. Is he Slovak? It's Finnish. It's hard to remember that Czechoslovakia split up now. It's the Czech Republic and the Slovaks. The world's an uh, ever-changing place, eh? I know. It's all. It's always evolving. What's that? Yeah. What's Adam still doing up? Uh, Adam stays up generally till about nine thirty, and then he goes to bed. So they're watching because I'm on, but for just for the emotional support. Because, like I said, Beth wasn't very friendly when I got home last night, so she's trying to kind of make up for it. First thing Greg says to me, he says via text, he's like, "I got in trouble when I got home." Instantly. I was like, all right, man. I was gone for four days, and I don't think she wanted me to come back. You know what I'm saying? The dogs missed me desperately. She, he said she was throwing shit at him. She's like, your clothes don't go in that uh, oh, yeah, it was part all... of the laundry. I'm like, well, it's really nice to see you, too. 
All right, how about some Michael Jordan KSA fun? This is a KSA 9 Michael Jordan from Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Just giving it away at this point. We got 30 bucks on the KSA 9 Michael Jordan. Maybe I shouldn't talk about my personal problems on the air. That's what makes the show good. Well, yeah, like people, <laughs> people can relate, eh? Like, my old lady's mean to me, too. I don't know. I try. Like, I love her, Mike. I try and I try, but there's just no pleasing me, you know? No, I... All the stuff you told me while we were away, all the secrets that you're not supposed to say. And how much I loved her and everything, yeah. No, okay. And then come home and she does things <laughs> that to me, you know. Anyways, MJ Golf Card. Nine KSA. KSA still great a lot? Yep. Cool. They were used to be really good for vintage hockey. That's one thing they're known for. They're almost at par, like, with PSA. Not, you know, like, relatively speaking. All right, to speed this up, I'm going to set this down. We got the Spencer Tolkerson. This is the Topps Black Gold rookie card. We're looking at uh, 10 bucks on the Tolkerson. These sell really well. They're nice cards. They're nice cards. Yeah, they're beautiful. Black Gold Tolkerson. What year did they originally come out? 92, 93? I don't know, man. I'm so tired. I can't think right now. Canadians are up 8-1 on the Flyers. How many Slavkovsky got? Slavkovsky got... Mike Drury. Got a dual jersey of Bernie and Mariano Rivera. Bernie Williams and Mariano Rivera for $20. Bernie's a, a professional guitar player, I think. Nice. I think so, yeah. We need more Disney cards. Someone can, uh, somebody knows what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure Bernie's like a jazz guitarist or something. We need more Disney cards to lighten up the room. You ever see the clip of Mariano Rivera make a, a glove out of a piece of cardboard? Yeah. That's cool, eh? That's what they used to do in the Dominican because they didn't have anything. You'd take, like, a piece of cardboard and you'd shape it. And you cut a hole in it so you could put your hand through it so your thumb kind of caught on the, caught on the edge. Huh. And that's what they use for baseball gloves. So this is how I learned how to play baseball. Ingenuity. Yeah, they put it in their back pocket when they went to school yeah. so they would never lose their ball. Yeah, $20 on the <coughs> Williams Rivera dual jersey. Pretty cool, man. How many entries we get for that? Uh... I have no idea until I randomize it. <sighs> if anybody wants any SP game use, I can rip more. It, it wasn't a great pack, but uh, I've seen worse. All right, back to football. We have a Sunday's Best Refractor. Uh, let me see. I think this is, is this a rookie? It's numbered out of 199. I th was this the rookie one? Calvin Johnson, jersey card, Sunday's best. We got $30 on it. It's actually got threads over here and threads down here. Pretty cool looking. That's a nice looking card. It's shiny. Yep. One of my favorite parts of the show we went to was that, that we could... Uh, Order that, food? Well, that that too, because food was so expensive and at the show it was so cheap, relatively speaking. Yeah, we got like chicken tenders and fries, like a huge basket, five chicken tenders, eight bucks. Uh, what I liked about the show is that they set up that area so you could trade with other collectors. Yes. I thought that was amazing. And, it doesn't and our show coming up on June 2nd, we'll have a trade section. Uh, we will also have a rip section. Uh, you're going to be able to do both those things uh, with those large round eight-seater tables. Nice. So you'll be able to do your trading and everything. Uh, you don't have to just buy from dealers and stuff. You can do it on the floor as well. Sometimes it helps the pocketbook out a lot if you can trade. Uh, Mike and I bought a lot. Mike and I actually bought more. I no takers on the Calvin Johnson. I bought more off of customers than I did off of dealerships. Yeah, Willie Mays on-card autograph for, for Sunday. $175 on the Willie Mays. That's a nice card, eh? I can't do it. 175 on the Willie Mays. Authentic Auto. I remember getting those cards going to Kmart with Mom. Not the autograph, but the regular one. Yeah. Uh, when we were kids. That's an that's an in person auto. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not packable. That's even better. Um, they had them on hangers. Remember, like the three part hangers. Yep. Yeah. Trips back to the state. Trips to the United States back in the day when we were little kids with mom for groceries. 
And when she smuggled cocaine in her butt. Yeah, she did. She was a drug mule for a while. <laughs> Dad's like, don't swear tonight and embarrass us. Well, <laughs> now we're telling people she smuggled cocaine in her anus. Well, I never, I never swore. I, haven't, I don't think I swore once. And I used before. anus instead of butthole or, well, or a hole. Well, butthole's not really a swear word. A hole is, you know. So I just, I because mom asked me not to swear, I just took Patrick's stance on it tonight. And used all like the great six words, like, <laughs> mother, mother frigger, you know, like stuff you could see, you know. We got the Cal Ripken, Don Russ rookie card from a grading card company that does not exist, uh, but it's it is mint. So remember? we've got we got a Don Russ rookie here for sixty dollars for the Cal Ripken. Do you remember six zero Johnny Dangerously? With uh, you don't remember that movie no. with Michael Keaton? He called the guy a Fargan ice hole. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's like you, fucking asshole. He, it was uh, <sighs> what the hell was the com- comedian saying? <sighs> I Uncle Brian law. He, I know he's seen the movie. I can't remember the comedian's name that that said that, but yeah, that's what he called M- Michael Keaton a fucking asshole. Oh my god, I'm having indigestion. Oh my god, I'm dying here. Yeah. Joe Piscopo. That was the guy's name. Called him, oh, yeah, yeah. Called him a Fargan ice hole. I know the guy. Yeah. He used to be on, I think he was on Saturday Night Live for a time. That movie came out a long time ago. Long before Michael Keaton was Batman. Maybe like 1986 or something. We just said Joe Piscopo. Yeah, if I had to guess. Yeah, Joe, I got it first. So, I, But yeah, I knew Uncle Brian would know for sure. The movie's hilarious. This cool card. This is the uh, Felix Potvin. However, this is the select... <laughs> It's a sample. So on the back, it came out prior to the cards coming out, so dealers would know what they look like. They're kind of hard to find samples nowadays. We have the Felix Potvin sample for $15. Nice. He was a good goalie for the Leafs, man. Popular. Plus, well, plus, you know, like that one scrap he got him with Hextall, that gave him total credibility, you know? The guy's willing to fight and bleed for your hockey team. Like, you got to respect that. <sighs> That looks what was cool about Osgood and, and Waugh and all those guys. They were willing to scrap too, you know. And, no, and nothing's cooler in hockey than a goalie fight, in my opinion. What do you think? Well, I think it's kind of cool when they take their skate off and stab somebody. <laughs> they haven't done that in a long time, though. It's been years. Now, I don't know when was the last goalie fight. Adam Sandler did it. I know. Who was that guy that used to play for the Islanders that was tough as nails? Dan Cloutier? Remember him? Played for Vancouver and Adams. He was tough. He had to be one of the toughest goalies of all time. And he was just a little dude, too. He loved fighting. <clears throat> no takers on the Potman. All right. I don't know how much they could they could pump this guy up over the over the last WrestleMania weekend. He literally stole the show. Like, he did everything. Who are they talking about? L.A. Knight? No. <laughs> He's not even a wrestler anymore. Oh, he's not even a wrestler anymore? No. But who started WrestleMania, the Hall of Fame, they all thanked him. He's the guy now. Triple H? We got an authentic Panini Prism Triple H Auto. Uh, where's the price here? We got $150 on the on the Triple H Panini Prism Auto. Apparently this is this guy's the future of wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. He's running the show. And everybody in the company seems to be pretty happy about it. They all seem pretty stoked that he's leading the reins. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, the, the wrestlers are for sure. Yeah, because well, because he's a he's a wrestler. You know, he gets it right. One fifty on the Triple H auto. Triple H was good. I was never a fan of him, but same thing. Like the guy, he built the company, man. He's one of the guys. I think everybody left their phones on. How do you mean? Well, there's supposed to be forty over 40 people watching. No one's talking. So we oh. figure at a certain point, they just all fall asleep. Oh, well, it's probably maybe it's because we're talking. Maybe we should be quiet. No, no, no. They just... How much is the Triple H? 150 Nice card. Joe Strong's going to claim it. If I had the money, I would have thought about it. It's just a little out of my price range at the moment. Joe Strong. Oh, Jesus, are you going to wreck the whole fucking thing? I tried to grab the card from you. Alright, I, I know how to press the start button, I think, now. 
All right, we got the Mary Lemieux 25th anniversary. Let me try it right now. Okay. Opeachy rookie reprint for eight bucks. This was a neat set, eh? <sighs> no, you didn't miss it. It's at the end. We're almost there, man. We got about 12 cards left. Maybe a little bit more. Eight bucks on the Mary Lemieux anniversary for Mopichi. The magnificent one. Super Mario. All right, if you want it, claim it. We're going we're gonna to speed through these. We got the Bo Jackson Allen & Ginner back card. The mini bat card. We got $32 on the Bo Jackson Relic. Bono's bat cards. Bono's there. That's right. Bono's bat cards. Who would you say was the best two-sport athlete, him or Deion Sanders? Bo. Huh? Bo. Bo? Or would you pick Bo's Bo? the greatest athlete of all time. Okay, well... I but you got to take longevity into that into account. How can you say that the guy was injured after three or four? The years. guy is the greatest of all time. Oh. How much on the bull RB? I think he said thirty-two dollars. Three, two. It's like a full count in baseball. That is a full count. In baseball. That's how quick I am. Or that's how you count down from three to one, but you just didn't go all the way. Ugh. You half passed it, Mike. That's what you did. What do we got? All right, let's get it out of here. We're speeding this up. RB claimed the bow. Did he? All yeah. right. Bo Jackson going to RB Allen. Oh, sorry. I, I, I got Patrick to promise that he'll stop picking me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a big one. Intimidation Nation, Michael Jordan, uh, Fleer Metal Insert. Uh, these, are, these are pretty hard to get. This is first year Fleer Metal. Uh, $100 on the Michael Jordan Intimidation Nation. He tells me all the time, your son hurt my feelings. Because <laughs> Patrick don't put up with this crap. Really. Hey, that's not... When, when, uh, Mike, when, when Mike gives him shit, like Patrick gives away five. You know? He's like, he texts me like, your son hurt my feelings today. I'm like, sorry about your luck. He's met his arch nemesis. I people. can't figure out whether they're going to play WrestleMania so I can watch for it. Yeah, I look for it again before I come tonight. They of, won't. They haven't shown it again. Well, I'm waiting for it to come on the new releases for the pay-per-view. You can get that, eh? Um, I was just going to say a lot of people... Well, they don't do the DVDs anymore, right? Eh? They stopped making them. Right. I was just going to say a lot of people think Michael Jordan's one of the best basketball players of all time. Baseball. <laughs> baseball players? Yeah. And baseball, yeah. Are you sh Brett, are you shitting me right now? Is the Cody Rhodes Redemption an auto? Yes, that's why it's a redemption. It sold anyways, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, the Cody Rhodes is gone. No takers for the Jordan. Is the My MJ Travel Chief, baby. My Travel Chief! Is the MJ Skybox? Yeah, it's Skybox. Skybox, Fleer Metal. My boy Roman Reigns. $150 on his Revolution Auto. It's shiny, too. It is shiny. Looks like My tribal like, chief. Looks like he's locking his hand to, like, throw a punch or something. Is that what he's doing? Here, I'll just do it like this so you can see it. Or does that make your bicep look bigger when you do that? No, or he's he's doing... Is, is he locking his fist? He's, like, he's, he's doing the He's doing the punch. He's locking and loading it? Yeah. Okay. I get it. He's so handsome. Yeah, it's old. You think that's his real hair? Yes. <laughs> I'm a little bit envious. I'm not going to lie. Joe, are you still on? If you want the uh, Roman Reigns, let us know. That's Joe's his, been picking up all the cool wrestling autos. That's his real hair, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. Arby Allen's going to claim it. Nice. It was, it was Joe Strong that took the uh, Cody Rhodes. Joe Strong got the Cody Rhodes, I guess. Arby Allen's got the Roman Reigns. His, his hair is sold that hair, I'm telling you. Alright, just give me a second here. Got some business. 
Back to a little basketball here. We got Vince Carter Ionics. An old upper deck insert. Upper deck Ionics. Vince Carter, $25 for the Raptors. Legend. You think Vince is one of the best dunkers of all time? I know you're not really into basketball, but what do you think, Brenda? For what? Vince is one of the best dunkers of all time? Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. I think so, too. I was never especially, a fan. Especially for his size. Yeah, I was never a fan of his because they didn't win a championship, yeah. right? That was the knock on him. But man, could he dunk. But Duncan don't win trophies, I guess. No. No. Duncan wins fans. Yeah. That's all it wins. But which sells jerseys, yeah. which I think that's what they care about. Well, I'm not saying he wasn't great for the Toronto Raptors, but, you know, the ultimate goal is to win a championship. That's right. Right. Yeah, just uh, around 20 seconds to go. Here's the Vince Carter. It is mid-90s, probably? I think it's early 90s. 99. Oh, 99. 25 years old. Back when the uh, inserts were highly sought after. Yeah. He looks like a really young man in that. I'm not sure what year... No about. takers on it! What year would his rookie be? We have the Bo Bichette's Tops Update Gold Refractor Rookie Card for 40 bucks. Bono's baseball. This is the gold variation of the Bo Bichette rookie card for forty dollars. That's shiny too, eh? Mm-hmm. I like Dominique too. He was slick, Tim. And Kemp was like the first he was like uh Kemp was like baby Shaq. You know, he was the Shaq before Shaq was Shaq. He was powerful, man. He could dunk. Yeah, he was an OG dunker, Frankie. For me, I liked uh, Spud Webb because if a guy that size can dunk, like you got to put him in the conversation. The guy's like five six, you know, and he's throwing down the basketball. <clears throat> what was the guy from the New York Knicks that was a fantastic dunker? He was a small guy too, like nineties two thousands. Oh, I can't remember his name. He was a smaller man too, but he was like devastating. And then the one guy I really like is the white no guy. takers Dutch on the boat. Do you know what I'm talking about? He's like, a free, he's like a freelance dunker. This is a extreme short print Justin Verlander diamond collection card. Man, you can't Robinson, even tell. Nate Robinson. Yeah, Nate Robinson. Yeah, he was good. Man. We have $70 on the Verlander diamond deeds cut. Or sorry, $50 on it. Yeah, Muggsy, Bowles, Muggsy Bokes is the same thing, yeah. $50 on the Verlander diamond cut. That's a die cut? Yeah. Muggsy was good too, yeah. Uh, Jason Richardson was another ducker that's unbelievable. Of course, Jordan. Kobe was a good dunker too. LeBron was a great dunker. Uh, Dr. J. Shaquille, just for sheer power. Uh, Superman. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even the guy from the Pistons, uh, Blake Griffin. He was dominating, uh, too. Oh, yeah, but he was better when he was Habs a won 9-3. Early in his career, man, he could dunk. Yeah, he was better when he was a Clipper, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guys I think of when I think best dunkers of all time. And John Moran as well, just because of his size. I didn't really remember Iverson dunking a lot. You Dvorak might, had two goals in his return. You might be right, but I don't remember that. I didn't watch the Sixers a lot. Not a fan. Montreal wins 9-3 and Suzuki has one point. That's a little embarrassing. You're looking for your next card, boss. Oh. This one's cool. You guys will like this one. This one's up for 15 bucks. Yeah. I did we have the Prince Fielder Tops uh, manufactured relis, relic of the Tigers logo here. $15 on the Prince Fielder. I did say Dr. J already, Tim. Yeah, he was good too, man. He was he was smooth, eh? He made it look easy. Tim Scott's claiming the Prince Fielder. All right. Aiden Hutchinson. Is this numbered? At a 99, we have the Aiden Hutchinson rookie card at a 99. 
Prism Auto for one hundred dollars. Three people tried to claim that Prince Fielder. Nice. Four, Four. people. That's a cool card. Eh? They were talking about new athletes with horrible autographs. It's an A and a squibble. Yeah, it's not a very good autograph. At least he's consistent. I've had four or five of these. Hey, days. scribble. They all look no. the same. You get hit in the head that many times, you, you're lucky you remember your name. Look, look at some of the new basketball <laughs> autos. The guy's <laughs> name starts with a J, and he writes J, and that's it. Yep. And that's it, like one letter. They're not dumb, you know? Like, yeah. How am I going to do this as many times as I can to make as much money as possible? I'll sign one letter, you know? You think of the guys back in the 50s and 60s, like John Belleville. That actually took the time Yeah, in cursive. In cursive. Yeah. cursive. Yeah. You know? That's the autograph you want. Jean Bellevue, Maurice Richard. Drysdale had a rough night, eh? Jordy Howe. No takers on the Aiden Hutchinson. I don't remember who Skywalker was, Tim. I remember the nickname. Who? Skywalker, they called him. Uh, Johnny. No. Johnny Skywalker. And the other guy that I think of it in the Dunker conversation is the, the French-Canadian guy. He was like the freelance dunker, and he was on like TV, and he did exhibitions and stuff. I don't know what his name All is right. either, but he was amazing. So, to sell this, I want to go full screen, just for a second. Skywalker was David let me Thompson. let me explain this for a second. Thompson. David Thompson. Uh, so kind of looked it up. I was able to pick up a Zeller's Master of Hockey set. There's only a thousand of these available, or there was. So it's a six card set. They're all autographed. They're all legends. So it comes with Frank Mahovlich. They're beautiful cards with silver Sharpie. Yeah. You got Frank Mahovlich, Johnny Bauer. Whoops, sorry. Uh, Ted Lindsay. Terrible Ted. I'm going to tell you right now that five of these six are already deceased. Uh, they're not signing anymore. Raj Gilbert. Stan Makita passed Stan. away last year. What's his nickname? Stan the Man? Yeah. And the big one in the set is Maurice Richard. So all six autos as a set, $300. It's not It's not uh, ever going to get any easier to find Rocket Richard autographs. No. Ever. They banned the sale of his merchandise in, in Quebec. In yeah. Quebec. They, because they consider it a, a provincial treasure. Like said, yeah, so you get all six thing, cards yeah. in the set, uh... $300. So we got, again, Mahovlich, Johnny Bauer, Ted Lindsay, Raj Bear, Stan Makita, and Maurice Richard. All six of them. Only a thousand copies of each, which actually back then was actually pretty rare. Yes. Yeah, it's weird how now, like, you know, back then a thousand dollar card was a hundred bucks, and now it has to be number out of ten to get, to get that kind of money. Yeah. So all six of them, 300 bucks. That's $50 a card. Uh, that's okay. Uh, the Richard's like 150 bucks by itself, 200 bucks by itself. Yeah, all Hall of Famers, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, Richard Auto sell in the in the 200 dollars range any day of the week. So you're paying 100 bucks for you're paying 20 bucks an auto for Mahovlich, Bauer, Lindsay, uh, Makita, Gilbert. They did they did the set several times, right? So. I'm not. I'm not sure who was in each set, but uh, I know. Who else did I? Bobby Hall has an autograph. As Bobby well. Hall has an autograph. I they they did several sets over different years. I'm not even going to do this card. Uh, probably the hottest, other than Cody, uh, easily one of the hottest wrestlers on the planet. It is the Rhea Ripley, uh, rookie card auto. It's from NXT. It's numbered out of ninety nine. Uh, this is back before she was mommy or any of that with Judgment Day. Uh, we got the Rhea Ripley is going for, sorry, uh, one seventy five on the Rhea Ripley auto. One seventy five. She's going to beat you. <laughs> We're talking smack about I it. I should call 9-1 and then don't put the last one in just in case. No, you call. You hit 9-1-1. You just don't hit send yet. Oh, okay. 
What if I hit it accidentally? Then you're in trouble because they'll call you back. Yeah, like what if just I lie? Just, just be like she beat me. So maybe I'll just do nine one and then if, if yeah like, no this is nine one two. All right, this is a cool card, Louis Apparicio. I say it, Greg. Apparicio. Apparicio. Louis Apparicio. This is the tops red auto of him uh, from Heritage. We got, uh, where is this? 150 on the Louis Appreci... I'm, t I'm so fucking tired, man. <laughs> this it's numbered out of 59. <laughs> it's 150 bucks out Ooh. of 59. Yeet. I'm freaking exhausted. Yeet. Look at that auto, Brando. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm fighting through it, man. We got five cards there. Four cards. We got ten cards left. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it all night long. We need more Disney cards, man. Well, we'll wake these people up. All right, I'm going to set it down. If you want it, you know where it's at. We have the Vladimir Guerrero patch autograph, number 250. Uh, the Vlad Guerrero is going to go 175 tonight out of 50. You like it that they put the authentication rate on I do like those. You do that? You like that? Yeah, why not? No, it just that it's just a, a security feature. Yeah. It's a it's a gimmick. Wow. But then at least you know it's a, a major league baseball authenticated rate on the on the pardon me on the jersey itself. It's hard signed, by the way. Oh man. Oh, that was such bad indigestion. It probably wasn't that pizza and winky. <laughs> I know that's what it was. <laughs> you guys are fucking hilarious, man. Well, some of us are. I really wish I could, like, jackknife or whatever Brando threw a table at the end of the show. I thought that would Come on, Timmy, pull the trigger. Been perfect. Tim's saving up for an Otani auto. You get an Otani auto and he'll trade you. He'll probably give you his dog for it. Maybe. Does he have a dog? Yeah. I don't know he had a dog. You still have your dog? All right, where's my, where's my Leaf fans at? Austin Matthews, most goals modern day. Uh, or, sorry, not modern day. Uh, salary cap era. This is Doug Gilmore, the guy that did it before him. Killer, they called him. Yeah. We have the Doug Gilmore signature patches out of 75 from the very first year of the Cup. These are hard to find because people hoarded them. There you go. Ron said... 30 total. 30 points. total. Okay. We got $65 on the Doug Gilmore w patch G. auto for G. Upper Deck the Cup. $65 on the Gilmore. Yeah, Tim's got a pooch. I've never met his dog because he puts him up. Her, I think it's a her outside. When you uh, go over. You still have your dog, Tim? Is it he or she? What's his name? Yeah, that's a little known fact about Tim Scott, that he has a pooch. Man. No takers on the Gilmore. That is ridiculous. How about this one? I like this one. From Pop Century, the studded... What is it? Star-studded swatches? They call it Prop Century when it's a swatch. We have the Bruce Willis uh, movie prop, event used or whatever. Uh, we got thirty dollars on the Bruce Willis memorabilia. So what's his health issue? What's wrong? He's not good. He's like he's got dementia. Oh, de like Parkinson's? like a form of dementia. Parkinson's or something like no, that. No, dementia. Okay. Did he he lost his ability to speak. Yeah, he can't talk now. Yeah. Oh wow. Like I don't really watch the news a lot. Just uh, whatever I see on Facebook. Kind thirty dollars on the Bruce Willis. Frankie with the clean. Frankie. One for Frankie. Got a nice Jays rookie here. Alejandro Kirk, Tools of the Trade, dual patch autograph out of 50. Alejandro Kirk, dual patch auto out of 50. We're going uh, 35 bucks on the Kirk. A lot of people think this guy is the best Mexican Blue Jays catcher of all time. This guy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 
He can hit for a little fat dude. I don't know. He he's a good hitter. Yeah, he gets on base. He's not my most hated Jay, that's for sure. Tim Scott's got it. All right, one of my favorite cards of the night. We have the Leaf Muhammad Ali Blue Refractor. Uh, this is from the Muhammad Ali set they put out a couple of years ago. It is serial numbered out of 50. Uh, not a ton of a Muhammad Ali cards out there. We have $30 on the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. I tried to trade for this one too. <sighs> Jeff Bernie. Another one of my favorite cards tonight. William the Refrigerator Perry with the score autograph from Panini. $30 on the fridge auto. This is cool. Yeah, this is one of the guys that made me love the Chicago Bears. I love the fucking Bears because guys like this. Yeah. We got 30 bucks on the William Refrigerator Perry. He's got quite the autograph too, eh? It's pretty messy. Yeah, it's not bad. Very interesting. Wrestled at WrestleMania? He did, yeah. He was a cultural icon for sure. He was above. Colleen Beckett's going to claim it. He was above just uh, football. Plus, he made a rap video, you know, the Super Bowl shuffle. Oh, I know. Yeah. He was. On, I think he was on Saturday Night Live. All yeah. right. We got the Derek Jeter MNT score rookie 8.0. We got 25 bucks on the Derek Jeter. You know what his nickname is, Brando? Oh, Jeter. The captain. Uh, the captain. Yep. It's pretty serious when they call you the captain. Dicka was before us, Tim. Yeah, that was a lot. That was back in the '60s, I think. <clears throat> he was the coach, though. Yeah, for sure. The Bears. The Bears. <laughs> Look at the linebackers the Bears have. Oh, they're defensively they're Dick, amazing. Uh, <laughs> Derek Jeter, twenty-five bucks for the rookie. Erlacher, single Terry. But we got twenty seconds left. We have two cards left after this, folks, and then it's all done. They had like five Hall of Fame linebackers in the world. Middle linebackers. That's crazy, dude. Which one would you take to build a team around? My, uh, I never seen Buckus play. My all-time favorite Chicago Bear of all time is Mike Singletary. Oh yeah. Twenty, it's a deal, Tim. I never make deals on here, but I'm just—it's bulky and I want it gone. Twenty bucks, it's yours. This one won't fit. So. Twenty to Tim. I can't get this to stop. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's an authentic Allen and Ginner Mosasaur tooth. Uh, you have the dinosaur from Jurassic World. Uh, it's serial numbered out of 25. It is a super thick card. It has an actual Mosasaur tooth in the card. It's 600 bucks. I'll take the Jeter. Tim, oh. Tim took a Jeter for 20. You know, if I had $600, I'm just crazy enough, I'd buy this thing. Because that's a once in a lifetime kind of card. You don't see them. No. You don't see shit like this at card shows. No. It's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. If you're in a non I'll probably keep this for my son. Yeah, actually. well, if you're in a non sports man, like, you don't get any better than that. Unless it's a, you know, T Rex dude. You know, it's the biggest one going, obviously. Raptor Claw? Yeah. Yeah, Moses Sword 2 is pretty cool. You don't run into We got one card left after this. Alright, no to the Moses We have the Connor Bedard SP debut game used rookie out of 499. It's the retro style rookie card. $600 on the Connor Bedard SP Game Use debut rookie. I think the Mosasaur was the best too, Tim. I have to agree with you on that one. That's a piece of ancient history there. Prehistoric history. 
So after this, we'll give away that uh, Cody Rhodes Auto. We'll also give the results of the 10-card challenge. You already got that figured out? Already got it figured out. Really? Yeah. I already know you won. Pelkey wants one top jumbo. Yeah, we're, we'll do packs while we're doing that, so. I already know you won. I, I wasn't really keeping track, but I, I know what sold and what didn't. We got a jumbo for Pelkey. I hope you had a cool Lily De La Cruz, man. Something colored. He's hot, eh? He's good, man. Since he? No takers on the Connor Bedard. All right. All right. Yeah, so the results, the results, the results, the results from the ten card challenge. I sold all but one card, and I can't tell you what card it is. But my total, one hundred dollar U.S. investment. My total cards sold. Came out to two hundred and thirty-four dollars Canadian, which would be a profit of around a hundred dollars, with one card remaining. Okay. Cheater. Greg had six cards go unsold because he sucks at this. <laughs> for a total of sixty-two dollars, so he's negative money right now. I'm embarrassed for him. Mike, Mike cheated. I did not cheat. So that just goes to show you, you do not mess with a professional. That being said, uh, we have to give away... What is it? Oh, we got a bunch more jumbo coming in. Austin one. wants one. Yeah, I got them both. Where's the other one? Uh, can you grab me another jumbo pack? Oh. I got them both, and then he gives me one of no, them. No, I got the name. Really? How many are left? Uh, five. Five? Okay. All right, we're going to do uh, Pelkey first. Sorry, that was there. You don't want to, uh, yeah, give away the Cody. Okay. Go on the web. Good luck, everybody. How many times? Well, Cody's... Uh... 40. He's a one-time champion. 40. WrestleMania 40. No, we're not doing it 40 times. One-time champion? Do it once? His dog looks like he's about eight. So do it eight times. His dog looks like he's eight. Okay. We're doing it eight times. 28 people want this. Good luck, bro. Number one is going to be the, the winner. Because it's his first championship. And Here we go. It is... Jeff, Jeff Bernie. Bernie. Who's talking to the door? <laughs> Don't answer the door. It's probably my mother. not the cops. Or the cops. Why is that? It froze. Pack him. Oh, hang on a sec. Check it, Greg. It could be the police. It looks like a man. Check it. I don't think it's Grim Grim. Would you check it? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to let Grim Grim in? No. That's who it is, Greg. Tell her to go away. Is that, is that It's frozen? froze, man. Oh, hang on. There you go. All right. Can you see him? Yeah. All right, what do we got here? We got a backwards Manuel Margot, Silver, uh, Fernando Tatis, Blueprint, Sunny Gray. No rookies yet. Don't let her in this area. Wasn't no. That, wasn't that a Dela Cruz? Hit mute. Wasn't that a Hit mute. There's no Dela Cruz. I got it. Yeah, Kevin Gossman for the Jays. No rookies here. Henry Davis rookie. There's one. Uh, Matos rookie. Jacques. Joe Jacques. We got a Guerrero. That was for Pelkey? Yeah. Who won the... Oh, Bernie. Jeff Bernie. Was it Jeff or I? What Bernie won the damn thing? Jeff I'm so fucking pissed off right now. <laughs> Alright, we got a rookie of Luke and Baker. Uh, 
Uh, we got the Home Run Derby Redemption. It is for Vlad Jr. Nice. So predict which game he hits a home run in, and you will win the, uh, however many people predict it, you win that card. We got the uh, San Diego Padres with the gold refractor. Julio Rodriguez and Freddie Freeman, 35th. There's that Spencer Horwitz. Uh, Keaton Wynn, rookie card. Christopher Morale, Future Stars. Dominic Canzone, rookie. Victor Medeiros, rookie. Matt Waldron, rookie. Trey Cabbage. And Kota Senga with the Tops Cup. The last call on any of the packs. How many of these are left? Four? Five. There's five left. I think there's still two relics in there, minimum. We'll put three minutes on the clock and we're done. Would she take all the pizza? She took two pizzas. <laughs> she's gone. Thank Kalki you. says one more jumbo. Kalki's going to do another jumbo. I like his style. Where the hell are all the hits? All right. Oh, he's got a hit. David Hamilton, rookie. Oh, there we go. Hamilton, rookie. Trout. <laughs> Carmen Lodzinski, rookie card. It is numbered. Trey Turner out of 199. Philadelphia Phillies memorabilia. Look at that. Philadelphia comes through with the game used bat card. And a Brian Wu. This will be a silver or gold. Woo! It's a gold rookie of Brian Wu. Asuna Jr., 2023. Andy Rodriguez rookie card with the 35th. Triolo rookie. Geloff. Geloff. Geloff's top 10 rookie. Sedan Raphael. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez, Future Stars. Luciano. Hartwig. Nick Robertson. And that's it. Is he taking another? Or I'm Austin? Austin. This is it. This is all. All of Tops 2024 is gone after this box. So. We do not have any left. Palencia. So if you're looking to hit something. Justin Martinez, rookie. Uh, celebration of the Kid, Ken Griffey Jr. insert. We have the Boston Red Sox. This will be silver or gold. Silver. Uh, Rod Crew, Grand Gamers. Mark McGuire, 35th. Schwoyer, rookie. Reese Olsen for the Tigers, rookie. Andrew Abbott, rookie. Brendan White, rookie for the Tigers. Uh, Brian Wu again. Woo Curtis Mead. And that is it. Alright. There's still hits in there. I'm gonna I don't know, I might open them. I don't know. Three packs left. We got three packs left, and that is it for top Mike twenty Greg twenty. Brando. Huh? Mike Greg Brando. Tim, Scott. Tim Scott's gonna take the last three. There we go. I wanted to get this damn shit off my counter. That's shyster. They're gone, Roger. What's going on here? Oh, just put the name in and then go back to packing. Is that a hit? I don't know. We're going to find out. Da, 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 da. Arube rookie card. Alex Verdurgo with the silver. Uh, blueprint Bobby Witt Jr., Ozzy Smith. Nolan Chenuel, rookie card. Uh, Quinn Priester, rookie card. Coco Montez. <laughs> what? Yeah, I like that name. Victor that's Medeiros. A, that's a good baseball name. Uh, Jacob Amaya, rookie. Coco Montez, I like that. Evan Carter, rookie. He's good, isn't he? Uh, Texas? Zach Ramallard. Yeah, he's top three. He's top three, top five, Evan Carter. Him, him <laughs> Dela Cruz, and uh, what's the third one? Dominguez? Yes, that's tough. Work. Sorry, my brain just stopped working. A while ago. Well, no, I'm tired too, eh? Come on, man. It's not like you drove. There's Dominguez. There he is. He's top two rookie. Yep. Top three. 
Uh, and Carson on Strand rookie card. Actually, the last time we, last couple times we opened Jumbo, didn't we get Dela Cruz and Dominguez in the same pack? same pack? That's a nice pack. Sheehan. Oh, there's the auto, Dylan Carson. Carlson. I knew there were hits in here. Dylan Carson. Carlson. Dylan Carson. <laughs> Nest, Nestor Cortez Jr. from the Yankees. Dyron Carson. Adley Roshman blueprint. <laughs> Louis Robert. Robert Jr. Campbell. He's a uh, Jose Rodriguez, rookie. J uh, Jordan Westberg, rookie. Soderstrom, rookie. He's good, too, isn't he? Henry Davis, rookie. First overall pick. He's a pack catcher, though. Be careful. There he is. There he is. Hey, the Deli Cruz. Cruz. They're yeah. in the same pack again. Nice. Yep. So you got two, the top two rookies and an auto in the same pack. Pretty good pack. That's, That's the pack you want. First pack. Then you're like, I'm done. Now, does this have the other jersey in it? Were all the hits in there? We need some colors in it. We need some colors. Um, I don't know what's in here. What do we got? No rookies yet. Riley Green, Future Stars. Ken Griffey Jr., Celebration of the Kid. Felix Bautista. Silver. Uh, Acuna, 2023. Acuna, 35th. I think we're just rounding it out here. Uh, Marlowe rookie, Brendan White rookie, Future Stars, Gabriel Moreno, former J, uh, Baroa, and that's it. That's it for top. That's it for tops twenty four. Period. Uh, we got big league left. If anybody wants any of that? Seventy six packs. Yeet. Seventy six packs. Yeah. We have to. I've got them. Frankie, Frankie wants uh, 76 packs. Frankie for wants 76 packs of Big League? For Pelkey. <laughs> he's, if he's paying for them, I don't care. <laughs> no, he doesn't. All right, we gave away everything? Yep. Can I go to bed now? We are good. Oh, uh, two Big League. We got you, Roger. Two Big League. See if we can hit one of those uh, numbered cards in here. These are nice cards for six bucks. Brando's setting up the table. He's going to go through it. Uh, Weston Wilson, rookie. Sterling Marte, Brian Jeffers. Otani with the with the Dodgers. Nice. I don't think he's got any Dodgers cards yet, does he? No. He's card. not in tops. He's with the... In regular tops, he's, he's with the... That might be his first Dodgers card. I don't know. Freelick, rookie. Good vibration. Nolan Chenial. Spencer Steer with the silver... Uh, series 2 coming soon. I don't know, man. I don't know if they're going to give us any of it. Like, I got to fight with them to get Series 1, you know what I mean? Like, they're mean to me. Emerson Hancock. Lane Thomas. Austin Wells, rookie. You look at that mustache. Badass. That's Trustin Cassas. There's Heston Kirsten. Yeah, he's a keeper. Look, he's got the surfer. I know. Too. Ooh, we got a different type of insert coming. Slade Ciccone. Look at that thing. Sammy Sosa. I want white Sammy Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> and Nico Horner. That is a cool Sammy Sosa. Though. I got a chain like that at WrestleMania. My dream, though. That's a pretty cool product for cheap. Alright, last call. We're out of here, man. Happy WrestleMania, everybody. Happy WrestleMania finale. I didn't even see what happened on Raw last night. Jay Uso won the number one contenders match. Yeah. <coughs> so he's going to face uh, uh, Damian Priest. Nice. He's loved Jay. People love him. Who? Jay? Yeah. That's the guy that I would have had beat Roman. Yeah. Would have made sense. Well, at SummerSlam, he had his match. Yeah. The one I went to. We it? good? We good? Yeah, man. All right, we're good. See you later. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back next week, Monday. we got a short week. Obviously, we got, we're got we a day late this week. But next Monday night, we'll be on live. Uh, back to normal, 50 cards. Pack bar will be booming. Uh, don't forget to come in on Saturday for your free packs. It's Hockey Card Day in Canada. Get here early or you will not get any packs. We open at 11 a.m. If I can get out of bed early, maybe 5 to 11. That's what time will open. Probably be quarter after. <laughs> so get, wait There's a better chance of me opening at quarter after than 5 to 11. 
But we will have uh, Hockey Card Day in Canada. Got lots of hockey product for you to uh, buy on the shelf. SP Game Use still in stock. Series 2 still in stock, for, in stock if you're chasing Bedard. However, so did you see the, the boxes on the shelf? I do have more, so it doesn't matter. But did you see the boxes? No. Abby was watching the shop while I was away. She said we sold like six boxes of Series 2 from 22-23. Everybody's finally figuring out that oh, Slavkovsky. Yeah. And he has a hat trick tonight. Did his young gun just jump over 100 bucks? That's what I want to know. It was, it was hovered around 60 to 80 bucks. I'm pretty sure it just took the leap. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, there's literally two boxes left on the shelf. It, it went from like being a whole stack down to like this. And I'm like, where the fuck did all those go? And she goes, we sold them all, man. Like people coming in left and right for Upper Deck Series 2 from last year. But anyways, that's the show. If you guys want anything that you've seen on the show tonight but you didn't pull the trigger, just send us a message. Uh... Greg got a royal ass whooping, four to one, basically. Oh, rematch! Hey, you want to go to Allentown in two weeks? We'll do a rematch. One hundred and one hundred, one hundred and one hundred. We'll go two hundred and twenty if you want to dance dance with me, bro. Ah, uh, that is it, man. I need to go home and sleep. Thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope to see you on Saturday, uh, June second. If you're thinking about a table, get a table. Fifty bucks a table. At the, at the new Everest Convention Center. Also, uh, what was the other thing? Uh, Care Day in Canada I mentioned. Uh, trade Night. Trade Night is next Friday. Uh, trade Night is next Friday night because this Friday night I'm at SmackDown in Detroit. I just go to all the wrestling events now. I guess so. You're like, Holy shit, man. I'm skipping this one. Yeah. I got SmackDown on Friday night. I don't even... I, I guess I want to... Like, I'm all wrestled out, but... Yeah, me too, man. I'm going, but uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to maybe doing SummerSlam though. SummerSlam in Cleveland might be a good party. If anybody here wants to go, just let me know. We'll we'll, we'll go as a group. Uh, we're looking at going down Friday. That way we get to go to SmackDown on Friday night. Maybe we can find a car show on Sunday. SummerSlam on Saturday, and uh, there's a Cleveland Indians game on on uh, Sunday at two o'clock. I think they play the Orioles today. They do. They play the Orioles on Sunday so too. If we want to see a couple of those guys play baseball. That's what I want. If you guys want to go for a fun weekend, let us know. I, obviously, I'm not paying for you. Uh, my, I'm not doing money in the bank, dude. But I would rather go to Cleveland or anywhere other than Toronto. I'm not a Toronto guy. I got to do Expo in two weeks down there, and I really don't want to go. But anyways, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in uh, for a fun episode of the XL variation of... The greatest sports card show on earth. Yeet. XL. Yeet!